Hello, folks. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. I'm Nate Bargetzi, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber. Uh, did you know two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35? Take action and prevent hair loss. Go to keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Nate to get your first month of treatment for free. That is keeps.com slash Nate for your first month free. Also, shout out to our sponsor from the makers of Helix, the most comfortable mattress ever. Comes all form, easily customizable sofas, armchairs, love seats, and more. All form delivers directly to your home with fast, free shipping. You can assemble all the furniture yourself in minutes. No tools needed right now. All form is offering 20% off all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash Nate. That is 20% off all orders at allform.com slash Nate. Mizzen and Main, dress up with ease. These shirts will make your other shirts feel like burlap sacks. They combine the comfort and flexibility of your favorite athletic wear with the fit and style of a custom dress shirt. Go to MizzenandMain.com and use promo code NATE. You'll receive $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more. That's $35 off at M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D. M A I N dot com and use promo code Nate. And finally, we're brought to you by Away. When it comes to travel, you want only the best. Pack responsibly with Away quality suitcases and luggage sets for any trip. Start your 100 day trial and shop the entire Away lineup of travel essentials, including their best selling suitcases at awaytravel.com slash Nate. That's awaytravel.com. Slash Nate. Hello, folks. <clears throat> Doing it again. I guess we do it twice. Uh, like I said, welcome to Nate Land Podcast. Happy you guys are here. Uh, as you know, this is one of the episodes I get. We've already been talking about a bunch. of probably uh, we've been. I've been gone for one month, so I'm out on the road, getting in amazing shape. I hope you come back so fat, dude. <laughs> dude. Oh, I can't. You can imagine how happy it would make me if you come back 350 Just, pounds. I go, all right, everybody. <laughs> We're going a different comedy route, more of the Chris Farley. Uh, it would be like uh, when Elaine's back went back out and yeah. Jerry's like, strange. I would have thought Kramer would have. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you're using your barber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But had a knack for uh, yeah, some yeah, people's yeah, spine yeah. or something like that. Eric, I feel, yeah, it's funny. Eric doesn't know how to do stuff. You go, what is his real job? He's a barber. Yeah, yeah. your hair looks great. <laughs> hair looks, you're yeah. enormous. You're gigantic. A beached whale walking in here. Uh, no, it's gonna. It'll be great. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, I've been like going crazy because it's like I know it's like we're gonna reel it in, and I. I mean, I've gotten like I'm pretty big now. I don't know what I weigh. I need to weigh myself. I don't think I'm 200, but like I mean, I could. Like I, I have a belt that I put on, and uh, <laughs> it's down to the last circle, and like it's. Last hole, I guess. The last notch. The last notch. <laughs> you have to make a new one. Yeah, right? it's like, well, it's like, it's funny just to, it's almost good for me to see it, to be like, yeah, dude, it doesn't take, you know, I mean, I was, my waist would get down, there's jeans I can wear that are 32 and stuff, mm. and like, I mean, I, you, you're like, you're down there, and then now I, uh, you know, it's, uh, you, it goes the other way, mm -hmm. and it gets there quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. pretty crazy. Uh, all right, we'll start off some of you guys' comments. Uh, Michelle Chapman, Nate's laugh is the best when he gets really tickled. Best podcast that covers all the first world problems, margarine versus butter, jam versus jelly, the great ketchup refrigerator debate. Do they have a podcast category at the Grammys? Uh, we call uh, Harper's, my wife's, my mother-in-law, she's called Grammy. So <laughs> I don't know. Do they? No, they don't do a podcast. Category at the Grammys. I don't guess so. No, I don't mean what. We would win. Come Probably. On. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets a Grammy. So he's got an Emmy and a Grammy. He's, he's <laughs> halfway, halfway to an He's got, halfway to an He's the one that's going to be Whoopi Goldberg, Brian Bates. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Trey McIntosh. Hey, Nate, you are mine and my fiance's Sydney's favorite comedian, but I can't get her into podcasts. What is your best idea for me to get her to watch you and Barnaby Jones argue over how to say words and Aaron laugh condescendingly at both of you? Condin, condescendingly. 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 Kind of the way I'm saying it. Yeah, right it kind of worked perfectly. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that uh, yeah. that means to like talk down to somebody. <laughs> yeah, and that was you didn't know that you word is yes. Yeah, so they make that word just hard enough that someone goes condescendingly. Yeah, and they go kind of yeah. The C is silent. Yeah, condescending. Oh, send What C? In the condescending. The second C. Mm-hmm. Like oh, in, I pronounce like in it science. Condescendingly. <laughs> so if I said it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why That's are you being so condescending? Scanding, right now. Why are you now? being so condescending, dude? Right now, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. condescending. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty funny. Word they've made some words that are pretty funny that you're like, yeah, they really work out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Science. Think about that. Science. Oh, science. That's how science is spelled? Yeah, yeah, science. The first guy that did it. What if the first came up with that word, wanted it to be science, and never took off? And now it's just science. Because that's science for you. <laughs> that's science for you uh if you wanted to get in a podcast i wouldn't start here and <laughs> i mean you gotta yeah ours i think you gotta be along for the ride it's so <laughs> it's so i tough. mean you'd be you know it, it really i think podcasts are people's time like do they you know it's like your job you have a drive do you have a it's like that kind of thing i think it's easy if you can upload them easy to like sometimes it's hard to think I don't know, dude. I gotta get my phone and do a whole thing. Am I gonna like you know? And people are just like, I ah, just turn on the radio. I don't, you know. Yeah. I think it's just yeah. It's time. Do you listen to a lot of podcasts? I do. Yeah. When do you do it? Drives. Because I drive a lot. Yeah. Like every weekend, I drive a ton. So I have a few podcasts that I. Yeah, it's like to. when you're driving, like or you know, or if you can have it on, if you're doing stuff around the house or whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I, I. It's really a time. Like if you have time for something. But ours is, I think ours is good because you don't have to pay attention too much. So that's the point of it's it. It's passive entertainment. Yes. Yeah. We're not looking to be your main thing. Put it on the background of a dinner party. Just turn We're, it down low. Yeah, just turn it down a little bit. Yep. Yeah, we should be in more dinner parties. <laughs> yeah, Trey, have a dinner party. Uh, John Barry. I know Nate gets a lot of flack for potential being potentially being <laughs> d- dis. I almost said dyslexic. <laughs> I mean, I was close. Dyslexic. Because like I'll get hung up on potentially, and then I'm dyslexic. I have an alternate theory on this. I often struggle, much like Nate, with confronted with a new word I've never seen before. Trying to sound it out. <laughs> He's got commas. This is supposed to send it's supposed to keep going. <laughs> it's not supposed to stop. And, uh, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of commas. I often struggle. Much like Nate. When confronted with a new word I've never seen before, <laughs> trying to sound it out. That's <laughs> the idea of being confronted with this new word is so great too. Like just being like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like they just put a word yeah, up. They too. just go. <laughs> no uh, one said anything about yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, Bartholomew. <laughs> and I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't just come flowing numbers around. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think it boils down to how you originally learned how to read. Apparently, reading clicked for me by memorizing words I commonly see until I have essentially memorized every word I run into. My wife, on the other hand, learned to read by actually sounding out all the individual phonics. <laughs> what is it? Phonics. Phonics. <laughs> Hooked on phonics. <laughs> Hooked on phonics worked for me. That's a Brian Regan joke. Hook it, hook it, on hook it on on work for me, work it for me of each word. When we go somewhere where we encounter a new word, I don't even have a shot of trying to sound out the new word, but it just flows off my wife's tongue every time. So good news, Nate. <laughs> He's John Barry's going to write a new comment and go, after you read that, Nate, I don't know what's going on. So, so good news, Nate may not be dyslexic. However, Nate may not know how to read. I mean, it's a bunch of that. Yeah. I don't know how to read where you can follow along. <laughs> I think I can it's read. It's kind of a big part. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get other people to listen. But oh, you mean, like I thought you I, meant you didn't know how to follow along. I know along. how to read, but it's like, just leave me alone. Like, don't <laughs> ask me about it. But if you're like, no, we need you to read to people. You're like, ah, come on, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be, don't make me up there to go read, read something in front of people as we do this podcast. They can only take a little bit of this. Mm-hmm. Brandy K, y'all had a breath of fresh air with your best guest yet, Leanne Morgan. She inspired me to start stand-up comedy, and now I am insufferable. There you go. Here's advice I need. How do you guys work out your new bits? I keep trying to run them by my husband, Bill, but he is so over it. 
please either give me some better advice or tell Bill to get over it, being over it, get over it, being over it. We're both listening. Many thanks. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I always think a good way is try to mix them in some conversation. Like when you try to tell, like that's a, I try to, when you try and tell a story, I think it makes you sound more conversational on stage. So you see if, now if you do a real jokey joke, it might be a little diff difficult, but like whatever your idea is, just try to do it to some friends or try to, and try to really, you don't want them to know that you're trying this. Cause I think that helps you on stage. And that how it makes you conversational. So that's how I would do it. And then you go, it's funny, right? I might do that on stage. And then you say afterwards, you say you might do it on stage. Mm. But you just kind of like, and don't feel like you're just rattling off. You can't just be like, sit down. Blah, you know, mm -hmm. you need a friend that is able to handle that. Probably not your husband. I wouldn't do that to Laura. You want someone else. Find out you have a friend that's a good laugher. Yeah. I would have buddies, Pete, Jeremy Morrow. Like he, I'd call him. Jeremy would laugh at anything. Mm. So if you want just some confidence in a joke, I could tell him and he would he would be dying. And so like, you know, if a, you have a friend that's like willing to, you know, you know they're gonna laugh a lot, call them. They like enjoy hearing story, you know. Yeah. So find that person. Matt Tanner. I'm Nate's age, and what I've noticed as you get older is every generation seems to watch the shows they watch in their 20s or maybe early 30s the most. I noticed the generation that grew up with Westerns loves Westerns love them, and I hate old Westerns. I think it's a comfort level, and like Nate said, you don't have to follow these shows close because you know them well. That's true. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Western guy. People love them. But people my age love them, <laughs> yeah. and you love them. Gun smoke. Like, well, you, that's how you grew up. <laughs> so I could get lured into it because I watched some with my grandfather and yeah. bring yeah. back memories. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And then, yeah, what memories does it bring back? Are you like, oh, he pushed me on a swing one time? Just <laughs> watching it with my grandfather. Yeah. That's it. Oh, that's the memory it brings back? Yeah. That's funny that everybody says it brings back memories. You go, what other memories? No, it's just a memory. Watch. <laughs> just, I watched it. I remember I watched this with my grandfather. So it brings back one memory? You go, yeah, I remember him. So that's the bringing back memories? Yeah, I can watch old TV shows from like the 80s, <clears throat> and I remember watching it with my dad and him yeah. laughing about certain scenes, yeah. and it still brings joy to me now. If it's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I think you should say that, though, instead of yeah, memories. So that's a little not, like that's a more pleasant thing to hear. Yeah. That brings back memories. You're like, all right, who cares? <laughs> well, my dad, the way he laughed at the shows, well, that's beautiful. Well, we didn't watch Westerns together, but, so that's why I said it. But cop, you watched cop stuff? Me and chips. my dad? Yeah. I watched a little chips, yeah. Coach. Andy Griffith. Watch a little coach. Uh, Andy Griffith we watched as a family. I, I so that we. brings back a lot of memories. <laughs> <laughs> or those memories. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Uh, yeah. Just <laughs> clapping. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. Uh, Liam Unra. Unra. <laughs> mm. Aaron? Hey. Is that correct? <clears throat> I'll call him mm. Liam U. Liam U. Unra. I bet it's Unra. Mm. Unreal. Liam dude. Unra. Un yeah. Unbelievable. You think is Liam Unra? You think the sentence is about to keep going? <laughs> they go, I'm Liam Unra. <laughs> oh, that's it? Yeah, that was it. Unra what? Unra what? Yeah. <laughs> Unresolved. Yeah. Unra. To Unra to get out of here. Mm. Uh, hey, Nate, Aaron in bed rest. Love the podcast. It gets me through work every day. My dad and I almost saw Nate at the Ryman in October. We flew out from Winnipeg only to find that tickets were all sold out. So we sat on the curb and watched en enviously. Enviously. Uh, enviously. It's uh, a new word. <laughs> I got, uh, you know, what is it? What do you say? What happens? You get uh, what's Now the, the word's in your database. Now it's in there. Yeah, enviously. Yeah, what is it when someone and I'm... Uh, much like they would cover a new word, it seemed trying to sound. Hold he on. never gave it a term. Yeah. No, but I like the way he said it. Confronted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was confronted with, whoa, you get into a sentence and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did this sentence come from? Mm -hmm. uh, watched in uh, <laughs> jealous yeah. of all the people heading into theater for some laughs, wishing there was some way to sneak in. Can't wait till you guys come up to Winnipeg. Keep it up. Yes, Liam. We will. I'll be at Winnipeg. That's. I hate that you came all the way down there. That's yeah, crazy. When he said that, you hadn't even announced those Canada shows. And now we are. Yep. Yeah. And I think jealous is was is actually the correct term instead of envious. Oh, what's right. the difference? Yeah, envious that would be like why Liam came to a sold out show and couldn't get in. They're not smart enough to. 
<laughs> Sorry, Liam. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what? Dad gum it, Liam. All right, we're go- I'll meet Liam. We're gonna meet Liam when you come to the show. <laughs> Just email the podcast. I thought envious would be like if you were jealous uh, envious of someone going to any comedy show, jealous is specifically Nate's yeah. show. Oh, I've never heard that distinction before, but yeah. you might be right. There you go. Uh, all right. What you missed, Liam? Bunch of that <laughs> on stage for Trey. If you're yeah, trying to get yeah. your fiance to watch yeah. this podcast, yeah, fast forward to that time. Yeah, <laughs> if Liam he writes back, we're out. We're meeting him in Winnipeg. I mean, he sat outside the whole show. Yeah, let's go. Let's go meet whoever he's with. Uh, Chris G. Nate, my wife wants me to get my hair cut like yours. I've asked for the Bargatze cut, but the person cutting my hair doesn't have a clue what that is. I saw an old tweet. Or your hair looked like Faith Hill. <laughs> but I'm guessing she wants to look more like your 2022 style. Does the haircut have a name? Uh, well, there's Faith. <laughs> that looks like Nate. I like, yeah, I like Faith's hair. Yeah. She has good ears. <laughs> she does. Mm-hmm. Uh, does your haircut have a name? No. Eric, once I, I mean, I've been working out with him, so I'll figure out what to, mm-hmm. or make it the Bargetsy. Call it, call it the Nate. I don't know what it is. It's, you know, what is it? It's like short here, mm-hmm. and then it fades up. So I go, sh- there you go. It's like, just a fade. I mean, it's not cut right now, mm-hmm. but it would be like a fade. So it's like, and then my beard will be like, this is, there's not much here, and then it fades up, and I have it faded up pretty high, and I have a cow lick. I was licked by a cow at a young boy. <laughs> And so I have a calic right there, so I have to always go that way. Yeah. My hair. Have we ever done the calic thing? No. I was, That's I was, funny. Okay. Yeah, I would say they get a calic. I go, yeah, I got licked by a cow when I was a kid. <laughs> Can't get away from it. So, so Chris, just show, just show your barber that video. Just show him that video. Fast forward to that part of the podcast. Or see if your wife wants, like, mine. Keeps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're like Brian, get keeps. Yeah, what's your haircut? What do you do? You go just hang on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Guys, don't touch it. Nobody yeah. touch it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, easy. Beep, beep. <laughs> it's everybody's be real easy. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Yeah. yeah. You, you can have some seat. fun down low, but let's up top. <laughs> let's 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 get tighter. They put police tape yeah. around it. You have two different people cut your hair. You let a beginner do the bottom, and then you fly in a guy for the top. That's go easy. <laughs> Stan, come on in here. <laughs> Joshua Brewbaker. I feel like I've seen the last name Brewbaker before. Was stoked to see Nate and crew discovering Bucky's. Our two girls went to their first Bucky's in January, and there was sensory overload for sure. My wife wants to know what souvenir Nate brought Harper. Oh, a sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> I brought, uh, I read it. Yeah, like I was, I was definitely confronted by. Laura put the answer in there for me. Yeah. And highlighted it. Laura highlighted sweatshirt. And you're like, oh, sweatshirt. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case I, because I'd be like, I don't know what I bought. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we we brought we got her the sweat the sweatshirt apparently a big deal for these kids to wear, so we got her one. Oh, someone said that Bucky's is being built in Crossful. Mm-hmm. Crossful, not mm-hmm. Cookville. Sorry, Same thing. Cumberland uh, County, I agree. Not, not Putnam County. Yeah, yeah come on, dude. Oh, man, Aaron went to Notre Dame. Uh, Christopher Stanley, Nathaniel mentioned that he has done away with mic stands. Was this before or after the shows in Vegas in December? I remember him saying goodnight and walking right into the mic stand on his way out. That is hilarious. I did do that. I gave him the benefit of the doubt and figured it was a tribute to his dad who opened that night in the old clown days. On the on that subject, though, can any of the three gents tell any stories about any embarrassing things that have happened while you were on stage? A trip, a fall, a, mal- a, wall- oh, a wardrobe malfunction, et cetera. You guys are literally the greatest. Uh, Thank you, Chris. Christopher. Uh, yeah, that night, that was pretty embarrassing. I mean, I, well, I, said, I had the mic set there, and I think I already started not using the mic, and then we went back to the mic stand just because my dad and Nick were there. And so I have kind of forgot about me moving it, mm-hmm. and so I just turned and I walked right into it. Uh, so that, I mean, that was kind of embarrassing. I mean, that's, you know, 
gracefully as people will give you this big applause and you're like, <laughs> I did it. And you just sat by the back, <laughs> like walking into a rake and you're just like, oh. Uh, that, I think I talked about it recently. I, I had to sneeze. Oh, yeah. That was, that's not great. Uh, I've had my zipper down, mm-hmm. you know. I check it so much now, but I've had that. Mm-hmm. And my hair, my haircut in the Comedy Central special. We talked about that. Oh, yeah. If you, huh? Mm-hmm. We did talk about it. The Lego hair. Yeah, the, people call it. Yeah, no, no. But that hair mess up in it. Oh right, between takes. Between yeah, takes. Errors, if you go yeah. look at it, one I have one side that swoops down on the left side is a big swoop, and then other jokes it's not. And my hair was different in both shows. So it cuts back in and forth. So, I mean, some people have noticed it. Not everybody's noticed it, but those are mine. I mentioned the my shoestring being untied on mm. stage, and I'm, the whole time I'm like nobody's going to notice this, and I think that's all everyone was focused on. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's all all that was noticed. Yeah. yeah, that'd be tough to get. You know, that'd be tough to get over. Some reason my did head, you address it? No, I mean I really just thought the angle, like up on stage. I mean I know up up high. They're higher than I yeah. am, but I thought they're so far away they won't notice yeah. it. And then the people on the floor, I thought I'm higher than they are. I don't think they can see it. That's mm-hmm. all they see. Yeah, I would have to address it. I, I would. I mean, if I ever spilled, I mean, I've spilled water on me before. Like, and I'll have to be like, I didn't pee my pants. I'm gonna walk out. It's the first thing I'll say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If I have something wrong, I'm gonna. Yeah, there's, you got there's to. no way for me not to say it. Mm-hmm. Got to. Yeah. Well, I'm a real hack, so I use voices and I use the mic stand a lot as a prop. <clears throat> For a joke, so I broke and broken a couple of mic stands oh my middle of the what show. Are you doing? And one time I dropped it into the crowd and it landed on somebody's table. What are you doing? <laughs> are you serious? Trying to survive up there, dude. Yeah, I'm doing everything I can. You use the mic that much? <laughs> the mic stand. You use the mic stand that much? You dro- you used it enough that you dropped it in the front? <laughs> I was tilting it and I lost control. It what tipped is, over. What is not getting across with your jokes? <laughs> What are you not? Are you not describing them good enough that you gotta? <laughs> no, I need the visual, dude. Yeah, you gotta be so like. Gotta... So I'm walking with this lady. <laughs> All right, so me and my wife go out. She's a mic stand, <laughs> right? Funny. Everybody can see it. So here we go. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. And then I turn and I bump into it. And then you knock it into the crowd. And yeah. It hits the table. Yeah. And it's only once. You use the stool. I don't use the stool much. Mm. No, I don't use mm. the stool. What about the xylophone? Sound effect. That's what. That's just with the mic. Yeah. I know, but don't you have a, on your that's iPhone? That's with my phone. That's what I'm saying. I'm juggling yeah. a lot of props up You got there, a lot man. of stuff. But does it always work? A lot work? of water bottles. I'm doing that. You're the opposite of everybody that leaves stuff but in the green room. You take it all off. <laughs> take my backpack yeah. out there. Yeah. I set that yeah. down. You're walking out there with a lot of stuff. Carrot top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> take my wallet. I spent the first five minutes getting everything out of my pockets. <laughs> yeah. Put it on that stool <laughs> like John Cena. So yeah. when you go do theaters, they're like, do you want a mic stand? You're like, oh, yeah. I mean, I had, like that's <laughs> yeah. the rest of the reason I'm doing theaters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a couple of backups. That's, that's what got me here. <laughs> I would always, they have two, like, I remember my agent, my old college, uh, when I do colleges, my writers said they have two stools. They ever said that? And so they would, and so they'd always have two stools on stage and I would just go, and I don't even, like, you get writers, I think I've talked about this, but you get them from like just old different acts and whatever. Yeah. And then you're like, why do I have two stools? And I just would always have two stools. I'm like, I don't even, I mean, I just use a stool to, you set your water down there. Mm-hmm. I borderline don't even need one. Yeah. And then you're, but then they're now I've got two of them and I don't use them. I realize sometimes they're used if someone sits on a stool and they have their water on one oh. stool. But I'm not using either stool. <laughs> so then you're like, this guy just looks like he's like, I'd like a couple stools out there if you don't mind. Like when you don't touch, when you don't touch them, yeah. everybody's like, why would you have all those? I just like be out there with a couple stools. Yeah. Spread them out. Yeah. Let them, let them wander. It's like Chekhov's gun. You know what that yeah. is? Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, no one knows what that is. You know, Chekhov's gun is like a it's a theory in filmmaking. No. It says if you show something, you have to use it for something. You can't yeah. just be there, then it's distracting because you're wondering what are they going to use that for yeah. the whole time. If you got just an empty. Why is it called Chekhov? I think Chekhov was the guy who did it. And he never used a gun? I think there was something with a gun. Alec Baldwin? <laughs> Alec Baldwin's gun. Yeah. It's a dramatic principle that suggests that details within a story or play will contribute to the overall narrative. So overall narrative. So if there's a there's an empty stool there, I'm gonna be sitting there thinking he's gonna use that for something. Yeah. And it'll disappoint me when you don't. Yeah. Okay. Uh 
Kate Hudson. Oh, Katie Hudson. Oh, I saw Nate's best friend forever, Jay Cutler, at the Salt Lake Airport. Even being a huge Bear fans growing up, all I want to say to him was, I, I love you on Nate Land. I refrained because he was there with his three kids, wondering what your take is on being approached while you are with uh, your family. Well, I think Jay's a reasonable person. That's that's my joke. <laughs> I got my hand. I got, Jay would have bitten your head off. Uh, I don't talk to Jay when he's near me. <laughs> no, I think Jay would have been. Uh, I have no idea how Jay handles that. Jay's famous where you're like, this happens all the time. Yeah. I have people, I've had people come up when I've with my family, like, but I don't, it's, it's not enough that, I don't think I've had it enough where I'm like, you know, I like the old, like, it's like, you, you know, the reason I even, we're probably getting to be on that trip is because you watch my stuff. Yeah. So I'm always super appreciative uh, of it. You know, I mean, I get like, if you're with your family, it's like, yeah, you know, don't, it's like, I don't want you to, you maybe don't be as aggressive as if I was alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's like saying a hi or something. Like, I don't mind it. I have it sometimes they want a picture and they'll be like, oh, Harper can be in the picture. And there's some of that where you're like, oh, she doesn't need to be in the picture. Like, I'll just take it with you. Yeah. And I don't know if there's any real reason for why I want that or not. But it's just almost like, yeah, eh, there's no reason to mm-hmm. drag her in this picture. Like, she, you know, or like Laura, there'll sometimes be like, you know, sometimes Laura doesn't, she's, you know, we're in the airport. She right. doesn't want to be in the picture. Right. Mm-hmm. I'll take pictures all day. I'll take them of your family as you walk. I'll take just me, your family, we all leave. I go right to your family. Stuart Oler, Nate, my fiance, fiance. My fiance and I watched a new Netflix special. And we need to know what kind of uh, what kind of your mom's pants did your dad wear to that funeral? Who wore them better in your opinion? Uh, so this is also highlighted. Walmart white stag. Mm. I don't know what that means. I don't either. They wore, oh, Walmart white stag pants is the pants my dad wore. So my mom had, my mom buys her pants at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> they look like comfortable pants. Yeah, I get I think it. I would wear them. Yeah. We shop at Walmart. We buy our, our clothes in just, uh, just bags. <laughs> just, <laughs> this is, was this, the winter collection? You just uh, you walk out, it's all the same size. <laughs> That's how Dan Soder bought his Levi's. That's the best we walk into Walmart. He bought him in bulk, right? He bought him in bulk. We're in the middle of Pittsburgh or somewhere, just at a Walmart. And he goes, give him some jeans. Bought six of them. <laughs> just They were like wrapped all together. There you go. Like Jane Soder. That's how, he's like, yeah, this is good. You know, this is good. This is how I wear my jeans. <laughs> uh, yeah, Walmart white stack. Hmm. Jeremy Donovan. On a previous podcast, you talked about golf etiquette and people – staring down the ball in mid-flight for too long. I'm an avid golfer and completely agree. However, I had one situation where I should have but didn't. On a par three, I hit the hosel of my iron, and the ball went out of bounds. I teed up another ball and struck it well. I immediately turned away out of frustration, but also because I thought it would be rude to stare down a third shot on a par three to see where my soon-to-be bogey putt would land. As I walked to the car, I heard my friend shot in celebration. As my ball fell into the cup for the best part of my life, to this day, my friends make fun of me for not seeing it go in. Would you have watched a shot in that situation or turned down and pouted the way I did it? That's that's I, I understand the situation that you were in. I think you handled it. You handled it a better way. I'd rather you you be you missing it than you be you watching it. Yeah, yeah. Because then if you because then if you would have watched it, it's like you watch it for the reason. Uh, and if someone wants to watch, like I get wanting to watch their shot. There is it's not long. There's just a few extra seconds. But it's like just get you know got great get your tea and as you watch it you just kind of walk off mm-hmm. like that let the other person start teeing and up. just stand there the whole time yeah it's like it's when they stand there the whole time and then you turn your foot yeah and then they turn their foot <laughs> clubs and then they gotta then they gotta get their tea that's my joke is I always well, when someone when, like hey, I know he turns his foot but uh, when someone does it I'm like you got everything you got your keys wallet yeah. like it looks like they're just being like do I have everything before I get out of here uh, so it's like you just grab it and just kind of walk off but. Uh, yeah, I think you would, as you hit it, I think I would do what you did. I'd maybe be watching it as I walked to the cart. Yeah. Like, you know, maybe walk a little slow if it's like, man, that's a good, it's right yeah. online. Yeah. But it's even better, you know, Jeremy, I like that you are you. So there you go. Uh, if you've been listening to the show for a while, you have heard me talk about our Helix mattress. We really love it. Well, Helix has left the bedroom and started making sofas and more. They just launched a new company called Allform, and they are already making the best sofas we best best 
sofas we have ever seen. All form is the easiest way you can customize a sofa using premium materials and a fraction of the cost of, of traditional stores. I think that's a new way to go with sofas. You're going to just be, everybody's like, I'm doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. And you just go, I want whatever I want, you know. In all form, you can do that. You pick the fabric, uh, spill, stain, scratch resistant, color, legs. I mean, you can do it, whatever. You, you can make it all your own thing. For the office, we uh, have the armchair with the sand fabric with the natural wood legs. It is really comfortable and roomy. I sit on it all the time. Uh, they even offer a forever warranty, literally forever. I really think that is very cool. To find your perfect sofa or chair, check out allform.com slash Nate. And Allform is offering 20% off all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash Nate, A-L-L-F-O-R-M dot com slash Nate for your new favorite sofa. That is 20% off all orders at allform.com slash Nate. Uh, so go check that out. Also, guys, keep... Uh, uh, give as we talked about earlier. Give keeps a try. Mm. You don't got to go to the barber like Bates, and you got to go. Let's hang on. Let's go <laughs> easy, everybody. We got a guy, a bald guy, walking in. <laughs> Walk easy, easy. <laughs> it's a new year. It's a great time to try something new. Are you going to lose your hair, Aaron? Or you think you're good? It doesn't run in the family, yeah. but we'll see. Okay. Was it, would you say two out of three by thirty five? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're. Two Are out you, of three, I'm passed. You're passed, so, so you're not there somebody yet. Somebody this weekend, uh, someone in yeah. the crowd yelled that I have a receding hairline. Whoa. And I've been thinking about it nonstop. Yeah, they so, got yeah. you. So I might need Let to get on. Let me see it. Can we see it? All right. All right. Well, it's going. No, you, <laughs> yours does like mine. It just goes back. You're yeah. Like, it's your forehead. You're uh -huh. right. I think you're right. I might I mean, need to hop on Keeps, though. That's what a receding hairline is. Yeah, I, I'd keep an eye on it. I know, man. And I would go to Keeps. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what you do. He wishes he would have found out about Keeps. Yeah, man. He didn't know. It was too, you know, 35, past 35. He, <laughs> he remembers when that was. It was the 90s. Yeah. 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. Uh, there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss, and Keeps offers both. They have virtual doctor consultants. Uh, the treatment starts at only $10 per month, and Keeps offers generic versions. It has discrete packaging. It has, keeps as uh, more five star reviews than any of its c uh, competitors. Treatments take you know four to six months to see results, so act fast. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash Nate to receive your first month of treatment for free. That is keeps.com slash Nate to get your first month free. Keeps.com slash Nate. So, PSA to all the men out there, your dress shirts stink. Your wife's embarrassed by them. Your kids make fun of them. You don't have good shirts. You need to check out Mizzen in Maine. I got one right here. I want you guys to feel this. Yeah. Just feel it. The fabric's It awesome. feels like a golf shirt, yeah. it's but a it's, shirt. Got the, it's got the flexibility of your favorite athletic yeah. wear. You but, could golf in it. But it is a custom dress shirt. Yeah, it's awesome. It's lightweight, breathable, yeah. moisture wicking. If you got a sweating problem, it'll have you looking great. Best part, you can just throw that right yeah. in the washing machine. Yeah. You don't need to take it to a dry cleaner. It doesn't wrinkle either. No, it doesn't wrinkle. You just throw it, throw it right in the wash with all your normal clothes. Yeah, Don't be weird about it. Yeah. And everybody knows about the dress shirts, I feel like, but you should also check out all the other stuff they have on there. They got no tuck shirts. I said, mm. I haven't tucked in my shirt since middle school. So I'm a big fan of that. They got polos, chinos, all kinds of fabric with modern tailoring with Mizzen in Maine. It's never felt better to look your best. 30,000 five star reviews. That's a minor league ballpark full of people. Wow. Yeah. That have given five star reviews, and when we're on the road a bunch, look, you want something you can cram in your suitcase. You don't have to worry about it getting all wrinkled. You don't have That's to iron it. Oh, oh, just ball it up, so cram it in true. there. Yeah, and uh, I've never felt a dress shirt like that before. So whether you're working on the golf course or taking conference calls, we've got good news right now. If you go to mizzenandmain.com, use promo code Nate. You'll receive $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more. That's $35 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N.com and use our promo code NATE. Speaking of traveling and packing on the road, we're happy to be brought to you by Away. Away is a modern lifestyle brand that creates thoughtful products for every traveler and every kind of trip. They started with the perfect suitcase made with features that make travel way easier. Now you can count on them for a range of suitcases, bags, accessories, whatever you take on that trip. It's a fun part of traveling is figuring out the system, right? You've talked about developing yeah. a system yeah. where you got you can pack and you know take everything out, put everything in for traveling so often. This is the way to do it. 
It's one of the most important things in our life, I think, is a good for us. Yeah. Is a good, a good suitcase. A good suitcase. Something that'll hold up. You can throw around. Yeah. They're designed to last a lifetime. Durable exteriors. Uh, you know, airports can be brutal on luggage, so durability is very important. And it's there's a TSA approved combination lock to keep everything mm-hmm. safe. That's you know, great. so you're, somebody can't sneak in and take all your weird stuff <laughs> in there. And if any part of it breaks, they they will uh, have it fixed and replaced for wow. the lifetime of the case. Wow. So there's a 100 day free trial on everything Away makes. Use it any way you like, and if you decide it's not for you, which you won't, you can return any non personalized item for a full refund during that period. No funny business. Away offers free shipping and returns on any order within the contiguous U.S., U.K., Europe, and Canada. So. Start your 100-day trial and shop the entire Away lineup of travel essentials, including their best-selling suitcases, at awaytravel.com slash Nate. That's awaytravel.com slash Nate. All right, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> we are here with uh, Dusty Slay. Uh, he, uh, has, uh, he's on the stand-ups, the, uh, the new season, season three. Uh, people have been talking about it. People have been... Your your part, you killed it. Well, I'm pumped. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. We're having a good time, and uh, I uh, yeah, people have been talking about it on Twitter, but I don't know, you know, I don't know how anything's doing. Have you done road stuff? I don't. Think have you so. been on the road? Oh, I've been on the road. Yeah, I didn't have know if that was a thing. Come? Yeah, I'm like, have you? You haven't done road? I'm like, you're crazy going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you haven't done road stuff yet? Yeah. Oh, you got a long way yeah. to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now you see, have you seen people come out? Yeah, I mean, I did Denver uh, the <clears> weekend <throat> it came out, yeah. and pe- I don't know. People were like, I I don't really do Denver, so yeah. people were like, oh, this is great for a Wednesday, and so I was like, oh yeah, Denver's a great comedy town, yeah, and that's yeah. And then I did Brea, California. A bunch of people came, and that was yeah. in, improv, uh, yeah, yeah. And I did Raleigh improv, and I, way more people came than the last time I was there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I did a show last night at Zany's, sold out. Yeah, sold out last night at Zany's. Yeah. Wow. You did? Yeah. Oh, wow. And the, the ovation feels different now when you walk out, yeah. right? It does feel different. Before, I mean, I got used to like being able to do a real weird show because it felt like a lot of people were there, but that, maybe they didn't know why they were there, and I <laughs> got to go out and be weird. Yeah. And But last night, there was no room for weirdness. Yeah. I mean, they were ready to laugh. You, Yeah, you like you almost like you missed the weirdness. Yeah, I was like, at certain points, I was like, I've done that joke before, and it's not gotten that kind of laugh. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know. Do you think it's funny, or are you just yeah. pumped to be here? Yeah. It's a mix of that. It's a it's a pump to be there, but they have expectations. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> but that's where your job comes in to know, like, you got to go, all right, I got to, you want to exceed their expectations. But right. But then you got to be aware of it. Because then you can tell if you're like, because I think that's this is you're at a spot where it's like it can go two ways. You can either just ride the crowd that's laughing at you, and no matter what, they're just they like you and they're happy to be there. And then you don't get better as a comic, or right. which I think you're this comic of you're aware of it. The fact that you're aware of that is you go like, well, let me make because you know what's good and what feels weird and. Yeah, and I, you know, I had a joke where I'm talking about a guy trying to give me popcorn at a show, and 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 it kind of died off at the place it normally <laughs> yeah. dies off. So yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, okay. I yeah. mean, they're with me, but yeah, they're like, yeah. well, listen, that wasn't. We're good. not going to go. Know, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not going to get in the van, <laughs> right? You know, right. like I'll walk up to it. I'll I'll, I'll see what you're selling. But I'm yeah, not now gonna... that you're on TV, we'll check yeah. the van out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, <clears throat> well, it's great, dude. That's awesome. You're uh, very funny. Deserve it all. Uh, earned it all. And it's yeah, the ride the ride begins, dude. It's well, great. I appreciate it. You know, they told me that you recommended me for JFL uh, yeah. years I'm ago. The, well, I'm the only reason you're there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so don't ever forget yeah, that. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Uh, we uh, there's also possibly a tornado, and you you seem nervous about that. Well, I'm fine with it. I grew up in yeah. a trailer. Now I live in a house. I feel very safe. <laughs> yeah. But my wife grew up in Canada. And they don't yeah, have tornadoes. That's true. So she's like, I don't know what this is all about. Yeah, yeah. And the first year we lived in the house in Hermitage, a tornado came through, yes. tore up lots of things. Yeah. We just had some wind recently that tore up my canopy in the backyard. Yeah. So wind is terrifying to her. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Hermitage gets, you know, Old Hickory Hermitage is where I grew up. Yeah. And so it's, we get hit. We get hit. Yeah. Tornadoes just are drawn to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Floods. Tornadoes. Yeah, yeah. High school's been flooded. 
high school's been devastated by tornado. Yeah, I grew up in a My trailer brother's school all under the pine trees. At, yeah. And we weren't this afraid of wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was a real threat to us yeah. back then. But now yeah. I look out the back window and the tree is going like this. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening yeah. out here. This is Tennessee wind. I grew up in Alabama. You know, yeah. it's different. <laughs> yeah, we bring the heat. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're here. We flex a little bit. Uh, well, this week we're going to uh, talk about dinosaurs. And you know you you know a lot about dinosaurs. Well, I'm into the conversation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a great, yeah. yeah, it's a great way to put it. Uh, yeah, I'm hope. Yeah, I hope you don't believe in them or something. Like that's you know. Well, we don't know. I've got some thoughts. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's don't get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Let's get so fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you guys growing up? Were you into dinosaurs? Played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff? Yeah, I played. Uh, yeah, I loved. Uh, I mean, Jurassic Park is my favorite. One of my favorite, Scream and Jurassic Park was one of my favorite movies. Mm-hmm. I love it. Like, they got the new one coming out. I know I'll talk about new movies. But I'm like a hypocrite that I'm also fine with it. If it's my movie that I want to see, I'm like, well, they should do it again. <laughs> but it's the other one. I think it's supposed to be the final one. I know. That was like kind of, yeah. I, 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 love, I love Jurassic Park. There's just no movies like that. Like, you know. Jurassic Park was great. When I was a kid, they had us out out digging around outside of the school. They were like, we found out there's dinosaur bones out there. We were digging. We found them. Oh, wow. We was like, this is so great. Yeah. Was it? I'm, I'm, well, I don't believe that they were. It was probably <laughs> chicken bones that we had for lunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just the school. It's a small yeah. school that yeah. just throws them out there. Yeah. yeah, that school's been there for a while. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, but it was, you know, and I love Jurassic Park. I loved, you know, I love, they started talking about all these different periods of dinosaurs. So then the names changed. Like I was in with the Brontosaurus and the Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Brontosaurus. And then they, they were like, there was a whole different line of them. Yeah. And then they're telling us multiple meteors came in and destroyed the earth many times. And then these dinosaurs just kept coming back. (laughs) And I just not sure I can get into it. Yeah. Where yeah. Are they You're coming? getting way ahead yeah. of okay. your oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, sorry. Yeah. Okay. I was going to try to start it off normal. and then It's like a movie there. that starts, uh, <laughs> it just starts with the final scene. Yeah. And then Action it's like, well, how did they get here? Then it goes five years later, <laughs> five years earlier. They do a flashback. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm ready to believe that anything I believed as a kid is not true. Yeah. When I was a kid, we studied dinosaurs. We learned that some dinosaurs were so big, they had two brains, one in their head and one in their butt. Did you guys ever wow. hear that? That was way back. That was yeah. not true. No. They've totally <laughs> negated that. That's now. crazy. Who told you that? Um, Tennessee Public Schools. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I mean, if you Google. This makes your case for yeah. even with these dinosaurs <laughs> to be questioning. You're like, yeah. I mean, that's crazy. They had, if you Google that, they thought they had two brains because they're just too big. They were too big. To they're like, well, how's, the, how's it going to talk to the other one? Yeah, it was like they were yeah. so big they needed a brain back there to – to yeah. navigate the tail. Yeah, Contrary yeah. to a popular myth, the Stegosaurus did not have a butt brain. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's, that's really called. in there, huh? You can Google that. That's what yeah. we were learning back the in double back in my day. brain myth. <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, what did y'all think of a draft? They were like, well, there's <laughs> controversy. <laughs> like, I mean, it's your, like your school would be we only don't talk about drafts because we don't know for sure. But we know for sure Brontosaurus had uh, the giraffes, you know. The old butt brain. Yeah. I've been called a butt brain a few times yeah. as a kid. If you see if you see an animal's butt, like, I'm really moving, you're like, this guy. It's got a mind of its own. Yeah, it's got a mind of its own. Yeah, that's what that's saying. Good night. It's got a mind of its own right there, man. You can just calm it down. Tail comic. Can't sleep at night. The top part of you is asleep. The bottom is just... Kicking the covers, everything's going crazy, and you go, I just, I don't know, dude. I had set on some sugar, and I guess I can't get it. Well, people just come up with these things, right? And then they go, why do you you believe that? And they go, well, he's a scientist. Yeah. And then they go, oh, okay, well, that... That makes sense, but we yeah. don't still don't know where that comes from. Yeah, did they? Have, maybe, it was, maybe it was the prostate. Yeah, it was a hole for a giant prostate back there. I think it was just probably like I look at a lot of stuff always like a scientist. No matter what, they're just going to get like it's a long day, and then they're like, "Well, how do they move their legs?" And the guy's like, 
there's another brain down there. <laughs> and I go, oh, is there? He goes, yeah, I don't, you know, and he's just like, yeah, don't I got to get out of here. Dinner. Like yeah. I'm, you know, and then it's just, and then they move on and then that just gets ran with. I think really rich people go to the scientists and go, they go, how many brains are in there? And the guy's like one. And the guy's like, well, I'll give you a lot of money if you say there's two. And he's yeah. like, okay, there's two. Yeah. I want to keep being a scientist. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Well, they lived on every continent. And the way they got there is because I think we've talked about this before. Used to be one big supercontinent, oh, pa- yeah. Pangea. Pangea. Mm. I saw a Super Bowl commercial. Morgan Freeman was talking about Pangea, and it was just one big blob, and they all lived there. And then over millions of years, the continent spread out and um, went apart. But they were all on. I'm not against the Pangea idea. Yeah. Yeah. It fits pretty good. I don't know if it. you're asking for things along the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like it. I'm not. Just, I like it. a little heads up if you're on board <laughs> yeah. or not on board. Like I, I'm, I'm way down with that. Yeah, I'm not against that idea. Yeah, I mean, who knows what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't it looks like it fits. Of, we don't know a lot about yeah. the ocean. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're like they're always trying to go to space, and I'm like, let's try to see what's in the ocean. Yeah, it's right here. Let's maybe, yeah, maybe don't leave the planet until yeah. we figure out what we got going on we here. We have uh, just the, uh, the guy from Titanic. He's the only one trying. What's uh, James Cameron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're like, could we get someone besides James Cameron down there, maybe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could, we send a, could we send a scientist down? <laughs> could we send a, a doctor or something? I don't even know doctor, but I would send a doctor. Marine biologist. Could we get a doctor down there? <laughs> like an ER doctor. Just everybody. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of that's smart. Can we get a doctor to come in? Maybe he roams around down there a little bit. I think he doesn't do that. Yeah, he's a smart dude. Let me get a doctor and a lawyer to go down there. Can we just throw them down there? And they and accountant. And throw accountant. Them. And they talk about some stuff down there. We did the now show. we're going with James Cameron. All right, all right. He made Titanic. I get it. An avatar. The show last night we did, Dusty in the room, Dusty said about the comics, aren't you a lawyer? And the guy goes, dude, I'm 22. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I was like, I don't know. I saw that on the internet, I guess, this guy. I was like, you're 22, you look 45. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He looks like a lawyer. He's been through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how old anyone is. He looks like the lawyer that was defending dinosaurs to, that they're proven. <laughs> yeah. Like he goes, no, they were real. And you're, it's like, I don't know. All right. Birds are direct descendants of dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. There's a line of dinosaurs that king birds. In fact, when I Google what's the smallest dinosaur ever, it said the hummingbird. Yeah, that's like annoying. <laughs> yeah, I don't buy that at all. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's like annoying when some, you're like, all right, you know what I mean, dude. Like, Yeah, I mean dinosaur. Yeah, dinosaur. I mean dinosaur. And they're like, happen- yeah, but they're related. What and- happened to the dinosaur? Oh, they, yeah. you know, they turned into birds. That's like, you know, like we're all kind of related. <laughs> and like, so that would be like, you know, anybody I see on TV – you know, I don't. You know, they're like, oh, well, Prince Henry. I'm like, that's my cousin. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. I, I go. Ah, what, what does he do next? What did he do? Like, or I don't know anybody's name, but uh, is it Prince Henry? Is that somebody? I think there's one of them. Yeah. Uh, Prince Harry. Yeah, Prince Harry. Harry yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of it. Crazy. You know. Do you see Meryl Streep? Oh, it's my aunt. What'd she do? <laughs> like, just everybody. Because technically, you're like, well, we're all kind of related. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I feel like when they say, well, hummingbird's a dinosaur. And you're like, well, you're a, you're annoying. I had a guy yeah. email me yesterday, and he said, hey, I just found you online. I've been working on my family tree since 1995, and mm. I just found out we're seventh cousins. Yeah. yeah that's Never cool. met this guy from Kansas. So you're like, listen, yeah. I've not made a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what you're going yeah. to get yeah. 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 If that's where you're going with He's this. trying to fill in his family tree. So I'm like, well, seventh cousins. We're probably seventh cousins. Yeah. No. So yeah. there's, I go to, when I go to Utah, uh, they have a family tree center. Mm-hmm. And like, so Mormons are there. They know everybody's. But the, you can go there and enter your family tree. We've been doing it. They have it online. It's awesome. And everybody's related. Like, I mean, you're just doing it in the room. You can do it on your phone, but like anybody around me that's related. And I mean, I, I, there was two people not related to me. And then there was 15 that were. Wow. So you're like, only the only two people not related to me, you're like, well, I guess I want to talk to them. How are they not related? Like, yeah. you know, everybody else is uh, related. Like, it was, it's, it's, it, everybody's like cousins mm-hmm. and Walt Disney. Like, everybody's got, eventually we all got the same kind of, there's a way to get back to everybody. You know, mm-hmm. it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, was it Bush and Obama distant cousins? 
I think all the presidents are related. Yeah, yeah. Well, everyone's yeah, related yeah. eventually. Yeah. yeah. I mean, some somebody. I don't know. I just see things, and I I guess it's true. Yeah. <laughs> but I just the bird being a dinosaur. I just I don't I don't get how we like because weren't dinosaurs reptiles? Yeah. Well, and then suddenly they're like, oh, the scales turned into feathers yeah. over time. No, yeah. now we think yeah. all dinosaurs had feathers. Yeah, I was okay. about to say. The, uh, <laughs> you not heard that? Yeah. Have you not heard the new theory? <laughs> no. The scientific no. advisor <laughs> to uh, Jurassic there are Park. birds all along. <laughs> the scientific advisor to Jurassic Park told Steven Spielberg that T Rex and the Velociraptor had feathers. Oh. Yeah. And he was so like, they're like a big, big rooster. Yeah. He was like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't care. No beak, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here's what the Velociraptor probably looked like mm. right there. Yeah. See? It's just a big. So they could they, and they couldn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> so it no. couldn't fly. Some of them could fly, but not not those guys. Yeah, I know. Well, I get that. I'm saying this couldn't. So like having feathers so. is annoying. Yeah, if you can't fly with like, them, like you can't go up in the them. Point? It's just like every day is like like a big dress ostrich. Up. You know, yeah, every, ostrich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like you're just going somewhere. You're like, you got a dinner tonight. You're like, no, it's just how I look every day. <laughs> Seems like they need to drug test the scientific community. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what T Rex with feathers seem would even more crazy. Yeah, that is yeah. like science should be more fun. Where you're like. But we also don't know. Like, they (laughs) should say that every now and again. Exactly. Just to go, but it could change. We're always looking at, like, make it, like, fun. Scientists debate whether dinosaurs were warm-blooded or cold-blooded. They now may think they were a mixture of both. They debate in a room. I got a little bit of each blood, huh, to go with the two brains. (laughs) Yeah. One brain brain gets cold blood, the other gets gets warm blood. Yeah. You gotta swim like a duck when you put your head down and his, <laughs> yeah. and his butt sticks up in the air. That's how they'd have to swim because the other one could handle it. And yeah. he just has to, he comes up and breathes. And then he's like, oh, his butt's like freezing. And then he has to go back under. And they get a good ways away. So, so, so well, what about the triceratops? What did it look like with feathers? Well, let's find out. Mm-hmm. I don't, we're just gonna do every dinosaur. Well, well what did it look like with feathers? Yeah, see, they haven't got around to drawing that yet. I don't think every dinosaur they yeah. can. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't. They're, yeah, they're like, well, we can't. Yeah. They go, I don't know. We can't go down some had road. feathers, some had, yeah. some had scales. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Back some there. had a mesh. There you go. Here's a trust. It's got a little... Uh, a little yeah, peacock flew out there yeah. in the back. It looks like when your yeah. like your 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 child uh, colors the thing wrong in a coloring book. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And is. it looks like yeah, it almost looks like you would be like, "Can we call it over?" Yeah, because the yeah. colors would you know, <laughs> and then you would be like, "Golly, I wish you didn't have those enticing feathers." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so they lived on Earth for about 165 million years. Oh. And if you compress the time of <laughs> if you compress the time of the dinosaurs from when they started till now into one 365 day year, they started on January 1st and would have ended about the third week of September. Humans would have come along on December 31st. Wow. I, so what's the point of that? Like just to to show how much longer they were on the oh, earth than humans have been. Oh yeah, they act like that's our fault now. Like it's <laughs> right, like right. everybody complains, you know, like hey, we were we're new here. You're like yeah, we're here though, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. they're not. <laughs> so like, what do you want me to do? Like it's like we're we're doing what we can. Quit making me feel bad. Uh-huh. Like well, look at us. We're the ones ruining it. They got the earth blown up a hundred times. <laughs> Yes, several no one, times. Yeah, several times they were getting just destroyed by meteor. Like no one complained. They, they they walked around talking about climate change, and so, they probably went through just all kinds of stuff. So what happened? They were just here for 165 million years, and then a meteor came, and then like all of a sudden humans popped up. Is that no. the idea that they were like, oh, well, we'll try a no, different we, kind we, of species? We come from hummingbirds. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I think all of a sudden is relative. The yeah. relative term, yeah. I think it was a few million years. Well, it seemed like it was just a few months later. Yeah. I mean, according to Brian, he just <laughs> yeah. said it. This is in one year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah September 21st. They, they were here for basically months. nine months, eight months. <laughs> and then we showed up the last half, and then we're the problem. <laughs> in fact, um, the uh, Stegosaurus uh, lived 80 million years before the T-Rex. So the T-Rex is closer to us. Than it was to the Stegosaurus. So what, how did so the T Rex just pop up? They never met. They never met. Yeah, we have no. Well, idea. Jurassic Park, I think, shows oh, yeah. them together. 
But I guess they remade those dinosaurs. Yeah, they remade them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, uh, see a Stegosaurus never even, you think T-Rex Stegosaurus? Is that what it is? <laughs> I think that's a car. Uh, what's it? Stegosaurus? Stegosaurus. Stega, Stegosaurus. Why does Stega, the t- Stegosaurus. <laughs> Why does the T-Rex Don't go to that Stegosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. It's like it's got a first name and a last name. <laughs> because they started, they go, because it's all kind of like X it ends with, and then Tyrannosaurus, and they're like Tyrannosaurus X, X, and then someone just goes, well, we split it up. Yeah. And Fear. we're getting closer yeah. to humans, I guess. So yeah. They're re- building us up for so the, the Rex family. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. For the my son, yeah. Tyrann- Tyrannosaurus. The t- actually, the T Rex turned this into This is my the wife, Melanosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she starts going, This is my daughter, Susie. Oh, hi, Susie. <laughs> Susie Rex. Well, pleasure to meet you. So uh, they became extinct about 65 million years ago. When uh, Now, I always heard an asteroid. You're saying meteor. I thought those were the same oh, thing. Oh, is that? Yeah. Like that would be <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah, this is where we're going to draw the line in the sand. <laughs> yeah. Now, Dusty, I don't know if I'm buying what you're saying. <laughs> we always thought it was asteroid. You say meteor. Uh, where do you get off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea those yeah. were different things. Borderline doesn't believe in them, but let's let's dive into the asteroid <laughs> meteor. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they were the same thing, too. But I'm sure there's a difference. Yeah, I think asteroid's a lot bigger. Yeah. And you get what we were saying, though. The idea of it. Well, he had also. I also wanted to ask him because you talked about multiple meteors killing them. I thought it was just one event. That well, it seems like that you know they were they were some a group of them that was here, and then they like what happened to the Stegosaurus? Yeah, it just went away. How it did went, it go? It just got old age. <laughs> yeah, just just one guy. Yeah, they said global warming was already happening during that period. Oh, so, so. we got so they've been worried. So they we've been worrying about it. This so we just think we're at the the end of it right now. <laughs> like, well, there's been different periods. A lot, oh, some yeah. scientists think even if the asteroid hadn't hit, so they, the they would have died out. So the stegosaurus had power plants. Yeah. So we yeah, why don't we blame the dinosaurs yeah. for not stopping? They weren't thinking about it and they got it cuz now we're dealing with it. Yeah, I've been told it's the cars. Yeah. <laughs> and the airplanes, but now we're the now stegos- stegosaurus. I always thought it was like one big hit and then they were all dead. The asteroid hit, Boom. but what I read yeah. was it took over years because like soot and stuff. It's a nuclear the sun. winter, right? Isn't yeah, that nuclear what winter. And they well, where was up. the soot coming from? Well, when it crashed, it like up into the air. Oh, okay, and stuff like that. So the idea is there's a huge, huge impact, right? Yeah, and then a lot of smoke and dirt and dust and everything goes up, and then then that. Goes into outer space. No, that goes up in our atmosphere and okay. blocks the sun, so yes. plants can't grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just yeah. there's a nuclear winter. Just gets stuck. Now there. some things lived. It just gets stuck. It can't go any further. I think it can. Yeah, but it's like too but much. But it just blocks. It just blocks everything out. So like, if they just wait it out, yeah, eventually like it's gone now. Well, yeah. how does a spaceship get out? It goes real fast. It just goes yeah. like the smoke. It can't. Yeah. But a spaceship just well, the smoke eventually because it's but a spaceship goes. Like it's a point, and it goes right through. It just it. stabs right through. It, just it. Stabs right through. <laughs> so it. now the smoke can get out. That's what they probably we've got. Sta- the we've been smoke stabbing out. through. We just it had almost. to poke a hole in it. Yeah, yeah. It all. yeah. That was what the moon thing was so important. Yeah, problem solved. Because it yeah. was just like opening a window. Like finally, we got a crack, <laughs> and now the stuff can get out. <laughs> <laughs> it eventually got out. And that's the problem with the uh, with the Amazon guy, Jeff Bezos. His rocket was rounded. Uh, that's why he couldn't oh, get yeah. out. Well, he only went up. That's like a loose where they go, we went to space, and it's like, then they go just kind of <laughs> right. high in the sky. My house. Yeah. High, yeah. drop back down, and then they, everybody cheered for them. Yeah, they're like, oh, we were in space. You're like, yeah. So it leaves you the astronauts. Like, <laughs> yeah. they're, you know, they're the ones that are way up there. So they say that some, obviously some things live, because uh, there's they, still, still people here. So the mammals, small mammals, they think lived. It were able to survive, because they didn't need as much food and stuff like that. So they eventually became what we are today. They evolved into humans. Yeah. The dinosaurs died off. Now, there's a theory that... The- so we lived through global warming, so we shouldn't even be worried about it because we are we crushed it that first time, and now we're crushing yeah, it In now. fact, we emerged from global warming. Yeah. The global warming <laughs> yeah. crisis created us. Created us. So why don't we worship it a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think our attitude towards it's wrong, <laughs> and we should be trying to speed it up. Scientists say if that had to hit, we probably wouldn't have become... 
what we are because the yeah. dinosaurs and it's yeah. the, the asteroids supposedly. It's so funny to say that. Is it just imagine staying in a room? You go, no, oh, that didn't hit. We probably didn't. The first guy that says it, <laughs> we probably wouldn't be here. Where and you're like, oh yeah, do you know that? He goes, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, you know? yeah. I'm a scientist, so like, over millions of years, anything's yeah. possible. Yeah, if you stretch it out long enough, you mm-hmm. could go, hey, it took a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, this isn't like tomorrow. It's millions of years. You're like, there's a lot of like mm-hmm. gray in that million. <laughs> yeah, there's mm-hmm. a lot of like, well, what about this period? And it goes, it was, you know, you were like half one, half the other. That was like 10 years was just like, you know, you have to just use your arms because you got fish legs. You know, they think dolphins, <laughs> dolphins over a period of millions of years became land animals. They went on the land. They're like, nah, I don't like this. And they went back to the wow. back to the water. Wow, that's what they think. That's why they're so close to us. Like mm-hmm. that's why they swim near us. That's why they're so smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why they're smart and why they are always like kind of by the shore because they're like. And they're I like, used to do that. I used to. Yeah. I used to be up there. Yeah. yeah, and they're like, they just look at a soda and they're like, God, if we would have just stayed, <laughs> I could have went to that McDonald's right. <laughs> it's right there. But and who we, knows? Maybe my, there's a whole bunch of stuff under the ocean the dolphins know about. And they're like, you know, it's better down here. It might be. Same. The weather's probably the same. Yeah. No they weather. No under there. They got a real party going on. No weather. On. No tornadoes. Worry no about? tornadoes. Yeah. No global warming. You don't have to worry about hurricanes. You just go down. I mean, are <laughs> they below? They don't go that low, right? <laughs> I think it affects the water a little bit, but no, it's not. I mean, you go, t- t- what, 10 feet down? You're like, the hurricane just blows right over you? <laughs> yeah. 10 feet. Yeah. You just let it go just shoot on it. by? You're like, yeah, it's under there. Well, it, the asteroid supposedly hit the, in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. They think that's where it hit. And they said if it had hit it just a little bit earlier or a little bit later, it would have been either in the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean. Had Pangea already happened? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not like we have today, but it already started spreading out where there were oceans. And if it hap- if it hit in, it started just grow- the ground started growing. <laughs> it started spreading out. It started the gr- it goes just a mountain just starts popping. But that would be it come from the bottom, I guess. The ocean, yeah, because the ocean's all land. Well, it used to be all ocean, I think. Yeah, and then it starts rising up. Yeah, and then the yeah. land the land just came out of the yeah. ocean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like shake it. <laughs> All right, yeah. so it was just ocean. Yeah, the land emerged. Land emerged, and then <laughs> dinosaurs just started popping up. Just boop, boop, boop. boop, boop. <laughs> and they just started <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they were around for a long time, longer than us. And then, yeah, then a, a meteor came, six Boom. months, or an asteroid. asteroid came, bam, bam, and a lot of smoke happened. Crazy, couldn't get out because we haven't, because no one's gone up. Yet. Only the mammals survived. Small mammals. We, what about the we reptiles? Smoke, we smoke cigarettes. That's how because we can <laughs> yeah. handle. We can handle ash. Yeah. Yeah. And so, okay, I'm just trying to piece it together because I think just, we are. Seems, I think it is. Pieced yeah, together. seems very scientific, and I just. I don't. I mean, I don't know how you don't. I know. I'm, I'm, I know we really. We just went out. through it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it had hit in the Pacific or the Atlantic Ocean, just a few minutes either way, uh, it would have probably some dinosaurs would have survived, and they would mm. still be flourishing. Now they think. Just like humans have evolved over time, got smarter. The dinosaurs would also become like an elephant. Smarter. In 1982, a scientist for the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa published a paper proposing an intelligent dinosauroid, which might one day have evolved. Uh, you, there's photos of this guy, D I N O S. Of the guy or the dinosaur? Well, he's kind of half human, half dinosaur. Oh, the guy. Guy. Oh, you show me. I thought you were just showing me a picture of the scientist. No. Like, oh, this like, is like reptilians that people talk about. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Eventually. No, that's yeah. not him. D I N O S A U R. That's the guy with the bulk Yeah, totally. Yeah, reptilians. Yeah, people always talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, that that's him. That's what this guy? Yeah. Any of those. They think eventually dinosaurs would have evolved. To Where they would have walked around. Yeah, like kinda, alien. That looks like an alien. Yeah. Kind of really stuck in the middle. Pretty frustrating life, you know, <laughs> yeah. just to be kind of like, I wish yeah. I made a choice. Yeah, I wish I was yeah. one of the other. Look at this guy. He's like, I'd so like could to I, the ocean. <laughs> if I want my family to breathe underwater, could I go live in the water right now? And then, then you know, Harper's, and I make Harper live in water, and then Harper's kids will be able to breathe a little more underwater. I think like it's going to take Kevin Costner. Us. Yeah. Water yeah. world. Yeah, you got a yeah. little like gill eventually, behind here. Yeah. Eventually, you're going to be like. a few million years, but yeah. But in a few million years, those Bargetsies. <laughs> Yeah, we have to go get everything for y'all when you drop them in a pool because we we got a nice little company built out for us. Because I because I planned for this. It's uh-huh. a long game. Yeah, it's a long game. A- I bet those dinosaurs wish they played that long game. <laughs> you got to plan ahead. <clears throat> you got to plan ahead if you're going to survive <clears throat> global warming. Yes, yeah. take to the oceans. 
I might as well start now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Just have a fat Bargatze family photo for yeah. every generation. Every, for how deep years. until we got in the, <laughs> the shallower in the water. It's, it's a picture of us just walking in the beach <laughs> until finally Uncle Fred was able to have the, just the top of his head show up. <laughs> he stayed down there for quite a while. Thanksgiving dinner, have it right down there. <laughs> so scientists say humans and dinosaurs were about 65 million years apart as far as when if they were here at the same time. Mm-hmm. However... Nearly every ancient civilization has some sort of art depicting giant civilian station. <laughs> civilian, civilian station. station? Yeah. <laughs> every ancient civilian station has art depicting giant reptilian creatures and humans with dinosaurs. Yeah. Now we didn't find dinosaur bones until the 1800s. So then the question well, we is, we probably weren't looking. Yeah. Well, so all of those civilizations are wrong. Then is what? Yeah. What well, when was the shovel saying. made? <laughs> the year before the dinosaur bones were found. <laughs> I mean, I, I bet it's ex- the same time period, I would say, shovel. What like a I, good shovel. I'm guessing we had a some form of a I'm shovel. I'm saying a good shovel. Like, what's the difference between a shovel and a spoon, really? What yeah, makes exactly. a shovel a shovel? Yes. Well, you're right. So a spoon, though, you ain't going to get no dinosaur bones. When did we get <laughs> a pretty decent shovel? Like, I bet the 1800s was like, shovel. the shovel world blew up. I think a, a wooden shovel is discovered has been dated back to approximately 1750 BC. Wow. So 50 years before 1800s. And <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Well, wonky donkey tools. That's nailed what they it. called them back then. So Nailed it. You didn't know which 1800s I'm talking about. <laughs> but that shovel's dumb. You ain't going to dig down to find a dinosaur bone. It's like but made the fabrics weird. 1750 BC, were they really that deep, though? Yeah. Still some time. They were bright. Oh, the, oh, I bet the floor, like the floor was wet. <laughs> yeah, you're still it's stepping been, like over they, them. It's been 65 yeah. million years, yeah. but. Still stepping over them at yeah. that point. Well, yeah, well, the, the water and the land is still rising, so you're like, every day is like just soggy socks. And look at all these bones. Yeah. What? Um, like, they think it's weird that we're like, y'all went and searched them out. They were everywhere. Yeah. I, used to, I mean, I used to sit on our kitchen table was you, a uh, T-Rex, was a stegosaurus. There's some 33,000 figurines, ceramic figurines found in Mexico that a Cambaro figures, A-C-A-M-B-A-R-O. And um, there they are. Um, so if the dinos- this is, dinosaurs hadn't been, bones hadn't been found yet, they don't know how they uh, knew to, how to make these, these old figurines well i mean mm. we made spider-man <laughs> <laughs> so how it's actually it's actually a good point they had imaginations back then well it- but they seem to have such an imagination that they created the thing that we now say existed long before these people would yeah. have known about it well they probably looked it up on the internet they had their <laughs> yeah. own internet well yeah. there is some debate about how old these are some say 2500 bc and some say 1969 <laughs> yeah. so, it's a pretty big I, yeah they collected those say, from the moon then yeah yeah i would say 1969 that looks like 1969 there was some drugs involved yeah <laughs> 2500 bc how would they they use and they're still just that good like, so still see the groove well they can't just carbon date it i mean that's how they're telling us that things are 165 yeah. million years old but they're like this could be seven hundred and fifty thousand years old or yeah last week <laughs> well they don't want to cut it open and <laughs> see the rings yeah uh what would you which one would you cut open if you had it because one of them you gotta be like well it's not gonna work i think i'd cut <laughs> this guy at the neck right here yeah. yeah that's an elephant i would cut that one i would cut <laughs> some of the tail off of <laughs> not one of those yeah. you could you could cut the tail off of one of the other ones uh-huh is that not a trunk I mean, you know, that one looks like a horse. I'll just yeah. get rid of. The, I would get rid of the horse. <laughs> yeah, I would just say this one right here. Yeah, that one right oh, in the middle. Yeah. I would say, give me the horse. <laughs> yeah, let's dive into it. If we lose this dumb horse, no one cares. <laughs> or, the, or the tree stump next to the horse. Maybe that's a. Yeah, maybe that could be something. Yeah, I feel like those were made at a school, and then just come up with imagination. One guy's like, I know a horse. But I just I, do that. I just think it's funny that like we'll doubt these. We go, no, I don't think these are that old. But yeah. 165 million years old, we're like, well, that's got to be true. That's got to be true. That's yeah. And an yeah. asteroid came. And this and could the- be like a little kid in 2500 BC. Uh-huh. Can you imagine they come now and like you wake them up and they're like, <clears throat> hi. And you're like, hey, what's this? He goes, I don't know. My daughter like made it. I stepped on it all the time. It's a dumb toy. And you're like, well, we lots of people worship it now. So 
<laughs> it's not a big deal though. He goes, no, 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 go to the, like our, our Walmart. <laughs> and you go, okay. <laughs> it's that, it's that simple of an answer. She made it a Bible school. Yeah. You're like, all right. Cause when we have people traveling all the world to pray to it, but you're saying, you're saying, <laughs> you're telling me right now, it's just a, you got it. You went out to get some hay and you just grabbed it on the way home. He goes, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> The Pauley River in Texas, P-A-U-P-A-L-U-X-Y, became famous for its controversy in the 1930s when they found dinosaur and f- human footprints side by side. But scientists now say those human footprints were really dinosaur tracks that had just changed over time. Uh, they had Those are the beginnings of the evolution. The feet came first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you start e- evolving from the well, your feet toe. down. I bet yeah. it's like... A- I bet it all goes, you know, frontward to backwards. So oh, yeah. it's like your, you know, it's like your toes, nose, and eventually you're like, golly. And there's a moment. Oh, it goes that way? <laughs> yeah, it goes that way. And then there's a moment of just like, you're like, you look rough. <laughs> a lot like of back is, hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's just uh, probably a hundred years of just like, oh, my goodness. Look at these. <laughs> just the, some of the ugliest people on earth. You're not buying those school photos that year? Just <laughs> yeah. You're just like everybody's, <laughs> well, everybody's just photo it- still says photo on it. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, we didn't buy anything back then. <laughs> if you just catch it from the front, yeah. a good straight on, you don't want a profile pic yeah. back then. Yeah. No. Yeah. You could have turned around and then got the other half. I, I like to think it was a thing moving. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, cryptozoology is the st- oh they got into Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 it's the study of animals whose existence has not been substantiated. Uh, I don't even know what I've, I know what most of those words <laughs> <Yeah>. were. <laughs> like, I, if I don't, I don't know what the sentence means. It means like the Loch Ness monster or Bigfoot. Okay, yeah, I'm studying those. See. Just say, decide to say that. <laughs> Did you know what that word meant? Substantiated? Yeah. No. You know? You know? Now, nah, I could fake through a conversation yeah. with it, but. You know. Yeah, yeah. substantiated. Y'all say it all the time Christmas yeah. and stuff. I took a cryptozoology <laughs> class in college. Oh, <laughs> oh golly. Here we go. Here, Here we, we go. go. Dogecoin. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Fortune favors the brave. Dude. Fortune favors the brave. <laughs> well, what did y'all study? Uh, we just talked about the pseudoscience and how to. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm not yeah. a good advocate because you this just class. don't. Y'all just use enough words, that then you you really go. But it's just the blah blah blah. I mean, yeah. Pseudo T Rexes are fun. What do you mean by that? I mean, you learn how to how to uh, how to tell if something's uh, nonsense or not. Mm. You know, how do yeah. you do it? <laughs> yeah. What's the line drawn? Because the line right here is that a bunch of asteroids hit this earth and killed all these dinosaurs. So where's the line where you go, that's, don't be ridiculous. Well, when the land grew. (laughs) Yeah. When the land grew. I think it's just what do we have evidence for or what do we not have evidence for? And there's a lot more evidence for dinosaurs than, say, Bigfoot. Or yeah. the Loch Ness monster. Well, or they ha- Bigfoot hides their bodies. That's, that's, <laughs> right. that's why. How was the Loch Ness not a dinosaur, though? It might be. Some people yeah. would make that argument. Well, I was about to get into that. It's a prehistoric creature that just kind of hung around. Yeah. Because it water. was in the water, yeah. Good water. Ten feet down. Ten it was down. It was the one that had the foresight to stay in the yeah. water. Yeah. Mark, that, that Mark day, he goes, and he goes, I'm going in. <laughs> anybody? <laughs> and everybody goes, that's the dumbest. He goes. Yeah, the Velociraptor right, is like, no, nah, right. dude. He turns out one <laughs> yeah. last time. One yeah. last chance, guys. <laughs> one more chance. You with me? I can take one more of you in here. And then I think it's too crowded otherwise. <laughs> All right, we're going. And the others are like, I'll just turn into birds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll soar through this. They, they were over there too busy. They go, I think the new world is up. Like, we're, <laughs> look, we have feathers. So eventually we're going to go yeah. up, and he, but he knew. <laughs> yeah, birds, dolphins, or humans. That was the that was your choice. That's how you switch it up. There was a scientist in uh, Hong Kong in 1935 that was in a pharmacy and found an unusually large primate molar for sale. Um, and he was asked about it, and they started doing some research. And it's they it's now a species called Gigantopithecus, mm. I guess. A large, hairy animal, much like a orangutan, but was 10 feet tall and weighed 1,200 pounds. And they found bones from this. And they think, Bigfoot hunters think that that's what Bigfoot is. Yeah. A hairy creature that lived back, may still live. So we just built a whole thing around a tooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they found more bones We're after like, that started. <laughs> like, oh, look that at this big old tooth. I bet I know what this is. 
Yeah, I understand if you if you see one of these in the wild, you think that's Bigfoot. You know, it looks exactly like what we think of Bigfoot being. Yeah, why is that? That would be Bigfoot. Yeah, Yeah, we would just call that Bigfoot. Yeah, and wait, that thing, it used to be out there. It's not out there no more? Mm -hmm. Okay. It went extinct. Yeah. So they say. How do they know this stuff goes extinct? Do they just go, all right, I've looked everywhere? Stop (laughs) running into them. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Didn't they, like, just discover the gorilla? How would you go? In the Uh, early 1900s? Yeah, we talked about that on on here. Yeah, did we? Uh, One of the gorillas. Barely listen. (laughs) Uh, The Discovery episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like early, like the so They just yeah. found the gorilla, but yeah. they're like, these other things are not real. Yeah. Yeah, it is funny because there's a moment, if someone said, I think there's gorillas, they would go, you're a lunatic. Until pretty recently. Yeah, yeah. they would burn you. And then you're like, I told you. And they're yeah. like, well, we already started burning you, <laughs> so we're not going to stop. <laughs> and they're but like, we won't burn any more past you. Yeah. <laughs> but they probably didn't call it a gorilla. And so then they were like, oh, no, it wasn't that thing we were talking about. This is a gorilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I think it was one type of gorilla, like the lowland gorilla or something. The lowland? Lowland. Oh. Sorry. Well, Marco Polo, the famous explorer. Tom- Polo. <laughs> <laughs> He's only known for that game. <laughs> I Isn't thought that, that was two people. Yeah. I did think it was two people. I thought people. it was two. Marco. Yeah. Polo. You thought yeah. Marco and Polo were two different yeah. dudes? Yeah. Yeah. Lewis and Clark, Marco and Polo. Mar- Mar- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I might have too. I don't think I've ever. Marco, Polo. <laughs> They're just yelling each other's names back <laughs> yeah. to each other. Yeah. That's yeah. the game. That's they how never, they explore. I guess that makes as much sense as saying the first name and the last name. Well, they never found each other. <laughs> they never. That's the point of the game is it's they never. One of them got out of the water. <laughs> and that's against the rules. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's all. What is all right? What's Marco? Who is well, he? Was the explorer? Uh, Why is he just a game now? <laughs> that kids play. Did I don't he know get they... lost in the water? Maybe. No, I don't. I don't know where the game came from. But he was trying to find a new a new route to to, China, to trade right? spices. The Silk Road. Yeah. This is this is what he did. I think we you're, talked about him. Yeah, on, you're like the he that's like the least here. fun. Yeah. Somebody goes, oh, Mark Polo, that game. You go, no, he's like the guy that made the Silk Road, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> like a dinosaur he, town. <laughs> he's like, I got Stop all it. these spices and nobody to buy them. I want to know why the game is called that. Let's. I'll look that up. Like, and I'll why get back is? To you. Well, um, while you're looking that up, I'll tell you why I mentioned him. He talked about on his journey. He kept journals and he talked about giant sea creatures that he encountered along the way. That he had to go around. Um, oh, like in the water. Yeah, but it would be a whale. Well, the way he described them were like like the Loch Ness monster, yeah, something like that. They had a long neck, yeah. Came out, and he was big bodied, big boned. <laughs> it's a big, big bone gal. <laughs> two brains, <laughs> two egos. Must have had two, three, four brains. Now keep in mind, we talked about Columbus thought that mermaids were what manatees. Yeah, he thought he thought manatees were mermaids. Yeah, yeah manatees were big. Mermaids. He yeah, thought Co- they were Columbus. Like, some big old lady. Yeah, he's like, I've, you been, heard out, that? He's like, I've yeah. been out here too long. He wrote yeah. his diary. He was like, they're not as feminine as everyone said they were. Yeah. They're a little more masculine than I'd like. Yeah. They got a mustache too, right? But you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> win in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> so here's where they think the Marco Polo game came from is one origin story. This is kind of the legend of it is that while traveling to China one time, he got separated from his family, and they started yelling out. They were trying to, Marco, and he, and he just yelled back, Polo, and that's it. That's how the game happened. That seems like a confusing way to communicate. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I mean. Dusty. <laughs> Slay. Yeah, right? I don't know. You got a name yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't. Nate. Bargatze. <laughs> and you're like, oh. oh. Uh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, how is that game? That's so funny. There's no way the game came from it. He's like, so we did that as a family, and then I told it on my podcast, and everybody started playing it. I wrote it down my journal, said we should play a game. Marco Polo. How boring was it when they came up with that game? That was like the fun game. That yeah. was yeah. the game. We still play it now. I played it this today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was lunch break. Yeah. I play it every day. <laughs> the Marco Polo game is a great way for kids to build communication they skills. They yell two words at each other. <laughs> yeah. That's all they, they, that's the communication You're skills. learning how to converse at a high level, dude. By going, say the two <laughs> words back and forth. I guess it's Marco Polo. 
That doesn't make sense. And you go, oh, my kid's out there learning. Like he's going to be one of those brain boys. <laughs> Children must also learn how to keep their frustrations in check while trying to catch another player without the benefit of seeing them. You're learning a lot. It's a great game, dude. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. It's, I'm fine with it. I like it. Is that it? You out of stuff? I'm no, out no, of no. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm getting closer. Uh, the Bible mentions some creatures that could be considered dinosaurs. Leviathan was mentioned. Um, a, a large, fast-moving serpent, the Le- Le- Leviathan, that was called a sea monster mm-hmm. in the Bible. Behemoth, the Book of Job, God talked about a behemoth that uh, sounds much like a, a dinosaur. And some people think it. He was describing a hippo, but he talked about his giant tail. So they're like, "Well, hippos don't have giant tails." Job described it. Well, or elephants too, tiny tails. Yeah, I think God was really? speaking to Job. Tiny tails. Yeah, look I mean, at this behemoth. He eats grass. Like God just said that to you. He goes, Joe, look at this over here. He, goes, <laughs> he made everything. He's that guy. And God just goes, Joe, come here. Come here. Look now, look around the corner. He goes, What is that? He doesn't know. He, <laughs> that is the thing. Look at that. It's a behemoth. You know what I mean? And then Job's like, I think it's a hippo. And he goes, No. I think I would know if anybody. <laughs> It says he made his tail stiff like a cedar, like a cedar tree. So I don't think that would be a hippo. Uh. Dusty, any thoughts on this? Uh, I agree with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, it says a tail like a cedar, and then an elephant has a uh, tail like a... Uh, like a pig. Know, Mitchell Walker. Yeah, like a pig, like a small... No, they, they don't have a pig tail. They have a... Yeah, it's it like dangles. Um, yeah, it, it's not like a cedar, though. No. I never... I don't go, man, look at that You're thinking about like tree. a dog when you cut its tail off. Yeah. And it's a little nub, like yeah, a snout. Like a little pit bull thing. Like a snout. Yeah. Yeah, pit bull. Yeah. Just gets a little, the little, little just, wiggles. Just enough to let you know I'm still a dog. Like a phantom tail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm into it. There's some celebrities have come and out. There's also a dragon in the Bible. I don't know if you're getting to that later, but, you know, I don't know yeah, where. Yeah, don't the, jump ahead, Brian. Are we getting <laughs> you got the are dragon doing the, in there? Or? Is that the Apocrypha? <laughs> no, regular Bible. You got to read the King James. Yeah. Right. Uh, There's a dragon up in there. Well, that's where, okay. Yeah. I mean, you guys don't. I did. What's it say about it? Well, it just says it's out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then the Chinese zodiac, they have all these animals, yeah. all real animals, and then a dragon. Yeah. And all these cultures love a dragon. Yeah. Why do they love a dragon? Yeah. If it Unless just made there was up. a dragon. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's and, true. And everybody's mm. like, oh, that's crazy. But what we believe that a dinosaur turned into a hummingbird. Yeah. <laughs> but a yeah. dragon, that's crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. We believe that dolphins came out of the water, became humans, and then said, well, nah. nah. <laughs> Only Aaron <laughs> believes that. Went, yeah, they become <laughs> humans. Yeah, they were, they were out long enough. <laughs> they started driving. They had a trouble with it. They drove with both feet. They go, this isn't for us. And then the dolphin family started just like, yeah. They all moved to the beach. Then they, then the next generation lived waist deep in the water, and they worked their way back into just we, finally. And then one dolphin goes, Phew. there's always the first one that goes, Phew, I'm back. Yeah, this land stuff's <laughs> yeah. not for me, He's man. Like, yeah. good. Yeah. <gasps> Wouldn't there have to be a first one? Like, there's got to be one that's like, when, they're, when it goes out to land and back, there has to be one that was like, he, you know, it's like, mm-hmm. he's like, I don't know. I just do better underwater. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like he's, he's like, this you know, he's bed. like, everybody else is like, you sure you don't want to be up here with us? For, you know, I, it's a wife <laughs> going, I mean, we got invited to this dinner. It's, it's just, uh, it's up there on the sand. And he goes, I don't, I don't think I'm them anymore. I, I think I'm, I'm supposed to be in. here. I don't fit in. <laughs> You know, yeah, I'll come see them. You I'll know, see when them they're in the boats, I'll come up next. Tell to them, them sick. Go, eh, yeah, yeah. But I, I'll I, follow them. I don't want to mess around with them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the same with the evolution of man. When from chimps to humans, somewhere along the way, it had to be the first one that's this that kind of clicked. Like, you know what? I'd like to. I'd like to walk more upright. Yeah, I'd like to get into that a little yeah. more. Or it's the ones that were that ones that were walking a little more upright. They had a competitive advantage over the others, and yeah. then those were the ones that got to breed. And then those traits began to express themselves yeah. over time. But I don't yeah. know about the competitive edge, though. I mean, have you ever fought a monkey? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've not, but I've seen people fight monkeys. <laughs> You've and seen they people will, fight well, monkeys on the internet. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. they, yes. 
will eat your face and your hands yeah. right up. You don't think we have a competitive advantage over over monkeys? Well, just a pure travel aspect of it. We can <laughs> yeah. fly in planes and I know we're killing it. Technology yeah, we're, wise, we're doing well. Yeah. Well, there you go. But if it's just you and a monkey in this room, I don't know. <laughs> I bet there was people. No, yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. I definitely agree. You don't want to walk up on a monkey and then be alone and like you're like, this is no good. Uh, yeah. I understand that. But I think, yeah, we I wonder if the families would be like, you know, the crooked backs are looking at the straight backs and they're like, oh, God, look who's <laughs> coming in. He goes, he, he hits his head on the top of the door on purpose. Oh, yeah. guess, sorry, my fault. <laughs> Been standing up straight too long. And you're like, oh. Yeah, maybe that's what caused the dolphins to go back in the water. They were like, it's yeah. skidding. That's how, high, how high are we going to go? Yeah, these people have yeah. changed. Yeah. There was a couple of celebrities that have come out recently. Well, I don't, celebrities may be a stretch. Professional athletes. <laughs> <laughs> How would you say celebrities? I was trying to build it up. Then I was like, well, yeah. I'm about to tell you who they are. Yeah. So I don't know why I'm going to. J.J. Redick, which I think we talked about before, on his podcast, he said uh, the word dinosaur didn't exist until 1842. Then the, some guy comes up with the word dinosaur. Then 15 or 20 years later, after he comes up, now we're finding all these fossils. And he's like, humans have been here for 10,000 years. And now all of a sudden we're just finding all this stuff as soon as a guy comes up with it. He's like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Oh. I think it is funny though, like a guy, you're like, well, you play basketball and stuff and you're on a podcast now. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> like there is a, there's a mix of that, like where you go, yeah, you know, it's like, well, I just don't. I mean, I, I like that he doesn't, mm -hmm. but it's just, it is, when you really think of this and you're like, well, I just don't get it. You're like, yeah, I don't think you're looking into it either. Like, I think you're just, <laughs> Like you're this breeze by subject is, you know, you would you think so? Like sometimes it's like, yeah, you're not really diving into it to really get the real answers. I have been in a museum, um, yeah. and then you'll see a dinosaur like built, and then it'll be like, We found this bone, yeah, and then like the rest they made, yeah, and they were like, We well, found this big femur, yeah, and we were like, I bet it looked like this, <laughs> yeah, William yeah. Hayes. NFL football player said, I don't believe in dinosaurs existed, not even a little bit. With these bones, it's crazy because man has never seen a dinosaur, but we know exactly how to put these bones together. We know every single where every single rib goes. I believe there's more of a chance you'll find a mermaid than you will a dinosaur because we find different species in the water all the time. Okay. But if you know how to build your body, I mean, it's kind of the same way. We're, maybe they're not built. Like, maybe we're doing it wrong. What if we were like in the well, We can dinosaur see our body. I know, but we, we build the dinosaur like our body, and then they come back and they're like, what are you doing? Dude? And the brain, they grab the brain, put it in the butt, and they go, there's nothing <laughs> up there. His brain was always down here. Yeah. This is where most of the work's being done. Yeah, and then they're like, all this time, they're like, it was reptiles, and now they're like, you know what? I bet they had feathers. Yeah. That's where it's like, you're going you're gonna to switch. That's, pretty a bit, that's a pretty big switch. Yeah. Do, you, you know, do you think dinosaurs were on the ark? I mean, you know, I mean, there's a theory, right, that... Di there's some reptiles out there that never stop growing as long as they're alive, right? So if the flood happened and things lived longer prior to, they would have just got real big. So you would just take small dinosaurs, like an alligator. You ever see these big alligators yeah. on the golf course they yeah. find in Florida? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like a dinosaur. Yeah. Yes. That's, what, dragon, we that's and, what we think of it. That's what we think of it. Yeah. Mm, they used to have feathers. Yeah, alligator, right, alligators. right, right. Alligators used to have feathers, and they, you know, they couldn't fly, so they got rid of them. But <laughs> yeah, so Noah just grabbed the alligators and was like, "These probably yeah. won't grow." Right, he's like, "I'll just yeah. take some small ones. We'll yeah. only be on there for you know a year or so." Yeah, yeah. I think I told him this before. I had a Sunday school teacher growing up. I think it was our preacher who said he thought that God put dinosaur bones here to test our faith, to confuse us. Mm -hmm. to test our no, faith. I don't believe that, but so you yeah. believe they were real. Yeah, I mean, I believe there was something out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, it's like it, everything is with it. You're just like, yeah, it all changes. We know you learn more and more and more and more. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, it gets me when they're like 165 million years ago. We know this happened, but yeah. then we find these little figurines and they're like, we don't know. They could have been built last week. We don't know how old they are. <laughs> it's like, well, why not? You know what I mean? Let's crack one open. Let's give it a check. Maybe it's because it's built out of rock or something like that. You're saying because they, they could figure out bones because they can yeah. find bones. Yeah. 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 But you're like, you can't tell me when these things were built. Yeah. They're like, it could be any time, man. 84. 84 any, of the, any of the 84s. To 200 84 BC. Yeah, 84 BC. 
one eighty four. I would just go any <laughs> any of the eighty fours. Well, I like this. This feels good right here. This feels like a big reveal. Well, yeah. our intern Cole, we brought like, the uni, like, so the Unabomber you, came and he brought <laughs> yeah. his uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. manifesto. So you're yeah. like, you think they're real, huh? Well, let me show you a little <laughs> something here, bud. <laughs> Come on out, animals and scandals. So Cole, Cole, our intern, brought these over, and these are some. Dinosaur artifacts, I guess. It's funny because he definitely doesn't believe in dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, that's why he has so much hard time at school. <laughs> he goes, he goes, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then during his dinosaur class, he walked around the other table and he goes, give me a break. Right? <laughs> and then, uh, Cole, could you sit down, please? Uh, trial bite. It's 300 million years old. Wow. I wouldn't think you, they, you just put it in a box. <laughs> but I guess there's plenty of these. Morocco, Africa. Wow, 300 million years old, huh? Where did he get these? It really takes you back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he just has these? Stole them, I guess. It looks like a, yeah, a bug. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that in my dad's pool. Yeah. yeah I stepped <laughs> yeah. on one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 300 million years old, it is crazy to be like, and like, holding, how am I touching it? Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good rock. Yeah, I would build a house out of that kind of stuff. Yeah, why would they not build houses out of? They should just go. We should use this. I think they are building it out of <laughs> out of rock, out of stone. And are we stuff. allowed to touch these, or is this uh, what's going? You're on? It's uh, glued to a piece of paper. <laughs> uh, oh man, tri trilobite nose eyes. Uh, it looks like a this regular. This is terrible rock. handwriting here. Whoever did this, but is this only <laughs> cool? This is cool, twenty dollars. This no, is tw we're selling this for twenty dollars. So this one, this one looks like a rock, and they just like if you stared at this one for a long time, mm -hmm. I would I would wait for the moment someone goes, "Hey, that's it's a regular rock." Someone put it up there as a joke, and that's what I think. You'd <laughs> yeah. go, "Oh, okay, sorry." <laughs> that's limestone. You go, oh, I thought, yeah, like you would be like, "I guess I see it there." And then someone goes, "Give it, that's a regular rock. That's not a." That doesn't look like that doesn't no. have any. I can't see. This I is picked up crazy. several of these yesterday. That is a yard. fern fossil found in Pennsylvania, three dated three hundred and twenty million years. Yeah. Mm. How do they do that? Carbon dating? No real yeah. age on this one. Yeah. They count the. This is. Lines. He just needed one more to put in the box. Yeah, he got like, that in that the jar. That is a rock. That yeah. Is yeah. Cool. That is just, that's <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I truly believe Cole just put a regular <laughs> rock in here. Yeah. Just throw us off. Yeah. Just to mess with us. Yeah, he's testing our faith. <laughs> yeah. In Cole. Yeah. Yeah. You got a piece of petrified wood here from Arizona. Ooh. You want to guess how old this is? Uh, 150 million years old. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say. That's some good years. wood, man. That is some solid wood. Yeah. This is cool. That is good wood. Oh, it's petrified. Terror, it's really afraid. Yeah. Petrified. That's what happens when you get real scared. Yeah. So, freeze uh, up. There's, like we said, one more Jurassic Park coming out. And then scientists think someday maybe they could recreate the dinosaurs. I hope so. Not just like happened Jurassic Park where they got sap from a tree, but yeah. they can, you know, we talked about the woolly mammoth. They think they can do that now. Yeah. But what did you do? You just get a T Rex and just throw them out and the yosemite park and then now everybody's <laughs> got to deal with that well that was my question you guys think if dinosaurs just roam free today we could stop them we'd have to put them in a controlled environment dude we can't just let them loose well how would we do that even how we have these nature preserves all over the country we'll just how do we catch them what do you mean catch them well you're putting them so you're making them and then you just put yeah, them we in there drop well them i'm saying if they there. got loose and so then... you put them in a cage in a nature preserve? Oh, some kind of fenced in area. Not for not a, a T Rex? Cave. What kind of fence are you gonna get for like Jurassic Park? Some kind of electrified fence, dude. And, and we'll shock them didn't if work they try out to jump. In Jurassic Park, yeah. though. Well, yeah. we've advanced so much since then, dude. Well, yeah. it was ninety three. <laughs> well, yeah. this picture that you got. But they're here still on getting computer. out in two thousand twenty one. <laughs> what that's if, or twenty two, that's where the movies were. Maybe we could bring them back mid transition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's this what I'd from, like. This is from an Animorphs book, I'm pretty sure. I'd like so, to see the middle guy in the overalls. This, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this guy right here? Yeah, yeah. In the overalls, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. He's a farmhand and... Like he's still... <laughs> like that, that looks like his, uh, he got his hand-me-down clothes. Yeah. And he goes, no, my, he's, my brother used to wear all these. That's where the... That's where all the, the whole. That's why the whole. Look at this dude right yeah. here. Look at his hair. Yeah. He goes, "Why are your sleeves so big?" My older brother, he had feathers, and so they had to make the sleeves big. And I get yeah. all his hand me downs. 
you know and the other guy's like well my he goes yeah i got holes in my back because he had he had triangles coming all up down his back so so, so now so when i put this shirt on i'm always a little chilly because my older brother you, Can you know take that to goodwill yeah and the t-rex he just they were like he just he died off <laughs> There was no train. No, I guess he came to the Velo- boy. T Rex would have probably become the Velociraptor because they look oh, alike. Oh yeah, and then the Velociraptor came that teenage boy. What's the hawk there? That just kind of flew. Just in. a hawk. It got stuck. <laughs> yeah, it kind of flew into the bed. <laughs> read it. If you read, did you ever read any of the Animorphs books? Oh yeah, a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the Animorphs books is these kids develop the ability to transform into animals, animals that they've touched. Yeah. And they could only remain those animals for a certain amount of time. One of the characters, I know nobody cares, but one of the characters in the book stayed a hawk or an eagle too long. And he just, now he's just, that's what he is full time. He waited too long. Yeah. So he's right now, he's still an eagle. He's still an eagle as we speak. Yeah. And he he waited too long to transform back. Wow. So that's probably who that is. My guess. I haven't read the books in a while, but that's what I Can you imagine what if you were in that mid transformation and then you come back? And you're like you're the the Velociraptor dinosaur, and then like you're you've missed like two, and now it's that kid, and you're going, what are y'all doing? And he goes, this is what everybody's doing now. He goes, where was I? Like he went, he just went to the wrong side of the island. He got lost over there, and he comes back. I well, I didn't get a. No one told me about this. We're gonna come with something else. <laughs> Why does everybody have to change? That is interesting too. Why does everybody change versus some? What do you mean? I, uh, I guess because you're saying like they the smarter ones then breed and the other ones die off and then now there's this. Yeah, yeah. it's natural selection. It's whatever gives you a competitive advantage in terms of breeding over yeah. time. Then those those characteristics will play out over time. Yeah. Well, then why am I still here? Yeah. <laughs> You're the last. <laughs> yeah. The last, the last link. That means to you are. Yourself I'm, the as biggest, I'm the biggest against proof against that. evolution. Yeah. yeah. You're, well, you're the one that's like kind of in the, you know, it's like on a, it's, a, it's like on the fence. Like you're, the stuff you've learned growing up, like you're very much just the two, on the line. Uh, the two brains. I would say you'd, yeah, you're the proof of evolution. Like mm-hmm. you'd go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like you're going. <laughs> He's making progress. Have you ever met Bates? <laughs> he goes, I don't believe in evolution. Let me introduce you, guy. <laughs> Have you ever met Brian Bates? <laughs> I'll change your mind real quick on that. Uh, well, that didn't go quite like I expected, but it was fun. What did you expect? I thought we would talk a little bit more science and then... It- and then we eventually. Well, what's science? Do you have stuff? No, or? no. I mean, yeah. it just it, it moved at a faster pace than maybe I was. Yeah, I thought we. I thought that was very sciencey. Yeah, I felt. Yeah, I mean, we talked about we made fun of science the whole time. Yeah, mm-hmm. pseudoscience. Well, who knows? You know, yeah. I, I guess it's up to your interpretation. Whatever you find ridiculous it could be pseudoscience, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I don't it was know. Fun. It was fun, but I did learn something though. I learned that um, that the hummingbird. Is a dinosaur. Is a T-Rex. And that's pretty interesting well, yep. to me. I don't think they'd be invited to the family reunion of the T Rex. <laughs> yeah. But I think they would seventh cousins. Yeah, Same it would thing. be like, are we supposed to be married or not? <laughs> I and think the like, pterodactyl eh. is the dragon. Yeah. That's what I think. Oh. Pterodactyl's not a dinosaur. I learned that. Oh. Is it not? Why how you, how you hold back us. on that information? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was it? Uh a, a bird, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> They're just switching that up on yeah. us, huh? We don't know, dude. Like all yeah. the dinosaurs turned into birds. Turns out this one was a bird the whole time. <laughs> it was a there, undercover. Yeah, there has to be something in science that's just wrong because the guy was like, I'm just not going to believe in it. Like, or uh-huh. like he's going to be like, I'm going to just, like that. Like Terry Actor one day he goes in and goes, I just found, I, last night, couldn't sleep. Went in the other living room, trying to be quiet. Terry Actor was a bird, <laughs> not a dinosaur. He goes, long story short. Well, you look that up to verify that but, that's true. Okay. But if the other dinosaurs had feathers, then aren't they all birds? Yeah. All right. Maybe he wasn't a bird, but already wasn't a dinosaur. Neither birds nor bats. Uh, pterodactyls were their reptiles, close cousins of dinosaurs who evolved on a separate branch of the say reptile p- tree. P- p- I think I think that this is the general term that includes. That's why they kept changing the names. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's a close cousin of the. 
dinosaurs. They were the first animals yeah. after insects to evolve powered flight, not just leaping or gliding, but flapping their wings to generate lift oh, good and travel them. through the air. So they were really killing it. Yeah, good That's for a dragon. Them. I could be oh. them. Like that's if I could start living in the water. You could be. Someone had to start that for those guys. Mm-hmm. There's some and great, great, great grandfather that they should be like, we know how to fly because of him. You know, people get hung up on the fire, he died as he jumped fire up. breathing <laughs> yeah. thing, mm-hmm. but there's an insect that creates a little fire spark that's alive right now. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a, yeah, there you go. <laughs> It's good to have for need of yeah, need of light. Yeah, one of these. Yeah, yeah, look at that guy. Oh wow! A bombardier, a beetle. Yeah. It's a beetle yeah. that can yeah. breathe fire. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. The, yeah. the so, I think the great thing is out there. the fact that Dusty, you're here to say I you you're basically going like, hey, I don't believe in dinosaurs, but I am going to sell the dragon thing pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you're. Yeah, I'm in on the like, dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm go. in on the dragon. The dinosaurs is like, let's talk about the dinosaurs, but there's no way there wasn't a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So I'm in for the dinosaurs, but I just, I do think dinosaurs and humans live together. Yeah. But people are like, oh, they came along end of the year, and <laughs> mm-hmm. I think they were all together at the same time. I think there was one human like, all right, we're good. And when they all died, he goes, come on. And then a bunch of humans ran out. Come on out, guys. Yep. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been hiding in caves waiting yeah. on these things to die. Yeah. yeah. Now they're dead. Let's have a party. Yeah. yeah. Let's start our own little it's global It's very warming. cloudy today. You're like, I eventually you'll clear up. Yeah. Yeah, once we put a rocket through that thing, it'll, <laughs> yeah. it'll get right out of there. It pokes it and it yeah, just ni- saw everything just zoop out and you go, it's a beautiful yeah. day today. 1969, didn't we go to the moon then? We went yeah. through the atmosphere, all the smoke came out, we found the toy dinosaurs, it was a big year. It was a big year. Charles Manson killed a bunch of people and it was- um, Look at so- the weather, pre-1969, I bet weather was like, it's like Seattle every day. <laughs> yeah. And then we go up there, Boom. boom. Everybody moves to California. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, we solved it. <laughs> solved it. We did it. Uh, I don't know when this is coming out, but it's uh, uh, DustySlay.com. Is that DustySlay.com, yeah. Go check it out. Go see him. He's starting to blow up. Uh, people are going to see him. Yeah. You, you, you have you ever wrote a new hour? Yeah. I mean, you, well, you, you know, over? I did some classics on the Netflix yeah, that's good. Uh, half hour. Yeah. So I got, yeah, you come see me. I got a whole new hour. That's good. I'll still be saying we're having a good time, but other yeah. than that, it's yeah. different. Yeah. And I'll be waving. But what if somebody goes, he does, he goes, uh, he did about 30 of the same jokes and it's all saying we're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. you're like, no, no, I just, uh, yeah. Well, I'm ready for that to happen. Yeah. It looks like my internet is, uh, my website's moving slow. Yeah. There yeah. it is. There That's it is. Yeah, look at all these dance, yeah. man. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, yeah a bunch of stuff. So dustyslay.com. Yeah, go check it out. Yeah, go it's check it out. Be hot. Yeah. Y'all. Mm. I have makeup on in that picture. Wide open. Very <laughs> Wide open. We'll, we'll pitch again. Wise guys, April 15th and 16th. Yeah. Right. Go ahead on in that. I don't know when this comes out exactly, so yeah. I can't think of what else. St. Louis Helium, Indianapolis Helium. Cap City and Austin. I got a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah. So come, come see me. I'm yeah. doing, I'm not saying to promote it because it's co- this weekend, but I'm doing a, a marriage conference in Orlando. Oh, really? And the name of it is, um, what's the phrase for butter? I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe it's not better. Yeah. Playing off like a marriage, whatever. I didn't know oh, that. Man. So the poster is just. Comedian Brian Bates, I can't believe it's not better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm like, well, you asked me to do it, but yeah. that's just the name well, of the conference. Well, that's a bad name for the conference. And you have to do all marriage show. stuff? I like your just website I showed up. Can't uh, comedian it's not Brian's, uh, comedian Brian Bates, I can't believe it's not better. Just his BrianBates.com shows up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name for a comedy show, actually. Not yeah. for a marriage. It's yeah. like, why? Wait, it's like, have you not lived life before? Related I mean, search, wife Ruth. People are looking into it. <laughs> Brian Bates, <laughs> right. uh, go, to his net, go to his net worth. Look at the number, yeah. look at the number <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> number two is, is he had a stroke. Uh, <laughs> go, go to his net worth. See what his net worth is. Did you have a stroke? Oh, no, we think it. you did. Oh, okay. Net worth $1.5 million. Whoa. That's right. Wow. This is big money. Uh, wow. I always thought those were wrong. Is that your real birthday? But, but 
well, that's not right. But, yeah. But the net worth is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One point five mil, huh? Yeah, ah, dude, he's killing. I don't need this podcast, guys. I just do yeah. it for fun. Wow. He's killing. <laughs> oh, that one says one. Estimated mil. one to ten million. Yeah. Wow. Also, dude. Yeah. Good work, dude. Give or no take. Idea. Give or take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dusty Slay, your net worth <laughs> under uh, seven hundred thousand. Oh. oh yeah, it is definitely You're killing that's, them, Brian. That's true. That yeah, is accurate. It is, <laughs> it is under seven hundred thousand. That is, it is for under sure. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. they have really specific oh, information wow. on here. Before he had to undergo surgery for an unrevealed health issue. <laughs> oh, I've I've revealed it. What was it? I ruptured my appendix. Oh yeah, yeah, and it was gross. But did you keep uh, it under the wraps for a little bit? No, no, oh, I was yeah. talking about it right away. Yeah, I was, I was about to like, say that. Pray for me. I'm yeah. dying in here. Yeah. I yeah. Was like, Get me out of here. Yeah. What's yours, Aaron? Oh, I'm afraid. Under 700,000. I like that they phrase it yeah. like that because that's true, but it looks better when they <laughs> do it like that. No, there's an Aaron Weber that created oh. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Oh, that's not you. So that's probably who they're talking about here. Spelled a little wrong. He's worth one yeah, to you five. Don't flash million. that up with that guy. Telling you your seventh cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. That's wow. fun. That's well, fun. That. Mine's a hundred million dollars. So don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, thank you guys. Go follow everybody. We love you. Uh, as always. Uh, thank you. See you next time. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetzi, and my wife, Laura, on the All Things Comedy Network. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.